would know what move to make and he'd slide in and knock you out before you knew it. All right, that's it from us. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> the frozen tundra of Husky Stadium. Maction is back on this Wednesday night. Head coaches Rod Carey and Chuck Martin getting ready to go on senior night as NIU welcomes Miami, Ohio for the Mallory Cup. And kickoff is coming up next. And welcome to ESPN College Football Primetime inside of Husky Stadium. NIU dressed in all black for senior night. The MAC West champions getting set to host Miami, the Red Hawks, coming in at four and six overall, but four and two in the league and still in contention in the MAC East. Right now, in a tie for second with Ohio. Meanwhile, NIU clinched the MAC West last night as Western Michigan lost at Ball State. Well, a chilly night, as you would expect this time of year, in the heart of the MAC. Temperatures expected to plunge into the lower 20s as we go through the evening. Well, great to have you with us, as always, alongside of Tom Ramsey, Roy Philpott, NIU division champs. Another year, another title. Well, NIU has really been the standard bearer of the MAC, and especially the MAC West. And once again, Roy, they really bring a lot of offense. They bring a ton of defense. They bring special teams. Rod Carey really has it firing now. Gus Raglan, meanwhile, for Miami, is off to another great start. 13-4 and four in his career when he's been the starting quarterback in MAC play. And this guy can do a little bit of everything. He can run it. He can throw it supremely accurate. He's got to play well tonight. And then also for NIU, one of the top pass rushers in the country. Boy, you talk about Sutton Smith and the job he's done. Nobody has been better the last two years. Well, Gus Raglan, as good as he is in the red zone, there is one guy in the MAC that really disrupts a lot of teams and a lot of people and a lot of quarterbacks, and that's Sutton Smith. He led the nation in sacks a year ago. He's on pace once again, Roy, to be the sack leader. MAC Defensive Player of the Year last season. And leads the MAC in sacks this year. Miami won the coin toss. They have deferred as Embry drifts back for NIU. Well, senior night tonight for Northern Illinois. 19 players being recognized, including 11 key contributors. Coca Sulis, far side ahead to the 20. And the Huskies will take over there. Well, this Huskies offense starting to come to life these last couple of outings. They've rushed for 296 yards in each of their last two ball games, Tom. And that's critical for a team that is built around its defense, and it's got to find a way to grind it out on the ground. Well, they do a great job, Roy, not only running the ball, but then they, they play field position. They have a great punter. And again, that defense just really stymies a lot of the opposition's offense. Our first look at Marcus Childers out of the gun. Quick toss, and the pass is caught far side for a gain of four. Jawan Wesley makes the grab. And Marcus Childers, a redshirt sophomore, out of the Peach State, Tom. And it was funny talking to Rod Carey this week. He said, you know what? He hasn't taken the next step yet, but we feel like he's getting closer by the quarter. And on second down, Carey scampers out. That should be good enough for first down yardage. Travion Banks ushered him out of bounds. And that'll move the chain. So a good start for NIU. Well, Childers may not be flashy, but I'll tell you what, he's efficient. And, and right there, he shows what he can do. You see what Rod Carey has done in his sixth season at Northern Illinois. He took over a program from Dave Doran and really hasn't looked back. Inside kick, Trey Harbison, the transfer from Virginia, barrels his way ahead for about three. Joshua Allen belted him down. I loved what Rod Carey told us this week. He said, you know, he goes, you can have all those seven-on-sevens in the summertime, all those pretty guys, quarterbacks throwing the ball. He goes, in the MAC, the games are won and lost in the trenches. <laughs> We had fun getting to know both of these programs this week, including the head coaches. Chuck Martin's been about as entertaining as anybody in this league for a number of years. There you see a little burst by Childers crossing the 45. 
And he'll pick up another first down after a gain of 12. Well, the offensive coordinator, Mike Uremovich, talking to him before the game, he just mentioned how well Childers is seeing it, especially this time of year in November. If it's not there, tuck it and run. That's sometimes the best second option, Roy. And just not throwing the ball, not turning it over, just making plus yards for your team. Spencer Tears in motion. And this time, Childers back to the air. He'll make the grab after a short game. Well, they're throwing it a little more than you would think. And, and it's not windy tonight. It, it's cold. I'll say that. It's, it's not, uh, we're not at the beach. Well, for an L.A. man like yourself, right, this is a little bit of a change of pace. <laughs> a little change of pace. I did, I did do my time in Boston. See, look at the two programs matching up. Corey Lurch in motion, converted linebacker to tight end. A lot of injuries this year for both of these teams, and that's been one consistent theme talking to Rod Carey this week, the fact they lost two of their best tight ends for the season at various points. Even going back to the offseason, that's been a major obstacle to try to overcome. It'll bring up third down and nine. Just underway here in DeKalb, Illinois. Seventh in the country. Third down conversions this year are the Huskies. They've been much more efficient the last two ball games. Childers surveys, delivers, and incomplete. Wesley, the intended target, just dropped that way. An alligator arms across the middle. Josh Allen in coverage, and that'll bring on the punt team for NIU. Well, and NIU won't be unhappy they're punting because they have one of the best punters in the nation. Wesley right there should have brought the ball down. Allen closing on the play. And Matt Ference has had a great year punting the ball. 23 of 65 punts going inside the 20 yard line. This one carries out of bounds inside the 15. And Miami will take over right there. Interesting year in the back over on ESPN2 right now. Buffalo. Losing to Ohio after the 37-yard punt. And many figure that NIU will face the Bulls in the MAC championship game at the end of this month. More on that as we go through as Gus Ragland checks in for the first time. And so efficient, so accurate as a quarterback for the Red Hawks. And, and so competitive. I said hi to him before the game. He said, hey, you ready for some football tonight? I was like, I'm ready for some Ragland football. Heck yeah. Lonzo Smith straight ahead, bottled up and driven backwards. No gain on the play. To bring up second down and 10, Antonio Jones Davis led the charge for NIU. Well, the thing about Raglan, I, I love the story. He was, he was Chuck Martin's very first recruit at Miami. And you got to love it. I mean, here's a guy who is so competitive in the state title game. Moeller High School, Ohio. Roy, he scored, he was responsible for eight touchdowns. Eight. eight. Ran for five, threw for three. Clean pocket. And delivers a pass, nearly picked off. Was it caught? And I believe it was. Near sideline, Mitchell Lewis. Check that, Luke Mayock makes the grab and Embry in coverage. Luke Mayock, three starts a year ago, picks up a first down. And a nifty grab. Hand off to Smith for a short game. Jones Davis, his second stop. Well, you know, they like Mayock because of his size. 6'5", tall receiver, and he was working the short sideline and working against a good player, too, and Jalen Embry. And he, you know, one thing about, one thing that Miami has to do tonight, even though I think Ragland might throw it 30 times tonight, they have to stay patient. They still have to run the ball. They have to keep the NIU defense engaged on the run game. Ragland surveys the dump off. A short pick up to Nate Becker. Becker, the redshirt junior from Indiana, his 12th catch of the season. Bring up third down. Yeah, I like the two tight ends for Miami. Nate Becker, of course, and then Andrew Homer, number 46. He's got three TDs on the year. And last week, they've had a nice ball thrown to Homer. 
Red Hawks need five to keep the drive alive. Pitch, catch, and a first down, a gain of seven. Stopped at midfield as Sorson makes his first reception of the evening. You know, Miami offensively has been red hot their last seven games, averaging 36 per contest over that stretch. You score it at that kind of with that kind of consistency, you got a chance, especially in this league. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. After you know, remember, yeah, Cincinnati shut them out, and then they only had three against Minnesota. Kenny Young straight ahead. Pick up two and a half, Ben Leroy. Brought him down. Kenny Young, a versatile running back. They can put him in the slot. He's the second leading receiver for the Red Hawks this year. Not the biggest player on the field, Tom, but he's been really impressive. No, I loved, again, Chuck Martin, what he said about him. Pound for pound, the best player he's ever coached. Now, Bruce Ribs earlier this year suffered that against Cincinnati. He's belted hard here. Jalen Embry is able to sneak in there. And, and Roy. They'll put him in the backfield. They'll put him out wide. They'll put him in the slot. And he, he's the kind of guy at the next level, you know, what, what, what the NFL scouts are looking for. And actually, the guy who just hit him, Sutton Smith, blows him up. Sutton Smith is definite. He's a definite NFL player. I, I mean, when? We'll see. Might be this year. Might be next year. First stop for Smith. Third down and seven for Miami. Raglan flush. He lives to see another down, a short gain in plus territory. It'll bring up fourth down, and Miami likely to punt this one away as Jones Davis makes his presence felt once again. Well, Sutton Smith is, is such a force, Roy. You have to account for him all the time. Watch him at the bottom of your screen. He'll come off the edge. They double team him, and those are that's a 300 pounds blocking him right there. So they rushed four. They don't get the sack. But they flush Ragland out of the pocket, and they turn it over on downs. Smith in a very good position to be named the MAC Defensive Player of the Year for the second straight season. With the nation in sacks a year ago, as you mentioned earlier, with 14. Off to a good start tonight after a 40-yard punt. Northern Illinois takes over. We come back. Take a test drive and get a front row seat to plenty of entertainment. The Volkswagen Drive to Decide event. Get a Volkswagen with America's best six year, 72,000 mile limited warranty. Get a thousand dollar bonus on select 2019 Jetta and 2018 Tiguan and Atlas 2.0 T models. When I say drivers who switched from GEICO to Esure and saved an average of $412, you probably won't believe me, but you can believe this. Real insurance employee, Nancy Abraham. Look her up online. Esurance, it's surprisingly painless. Life's more than a race to the finish. It's the power to choose what you do and a trainer for where you go. Welcome to Thailand. Ready to get started? It's having a friend as a partner with a plan built specifically for you. It's someone there for every weight, lift, and crunch. Nice work, you guys. It's motivation, inspiring you mentally and physically, showing you new Not things, easy. and taking you to new places. Because with your let's trainers, go, go. fitness is an adventure. I'll see you again tomorrow for another amazing workout. The X22i from Nordic Track. Your life, your trainers. Did you know 80% of all erectile dysfunction meds sold online are counterfeit? That's why we created Roman. Now you can get real, FDA-approved medication prescribed online, delivered to your door. Get your first month free at GetRoman.com slash TV. College football fans, ESPN is celebrating the 150th anniversary of college football, and we want you, the fans, to be part of it. If you have a great story, we want to hear it. Go to ESPN.com slash MyStory150 now for more info. <laughs> 
of the Mallory Cup and its dedication. Going down just moments ago, honoring the late Bill Mallory, who's a Hall of Fame coach at Miami, Ohio, and also here at NIU. Hall of Fame coach for the MAC as well. His wife, Ellie, daughter, Barbara, helping the dedication. Bill Mallory, of course, passing away this past May at the age of 82. One of the all-time greats in this league. And, Tom, as we talk to both coaches this week, their one question is Bill Mallory's in the Hall of Fame. Both of these fine institutions also for the MAC. The time is now for him to be inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. Outstanding career, won the Tangerine Bowl against Florida back in 1973. Head coach of both schools, four plus seasons. Also won the California Bowl versus Cal State Fullerton during his time here at NIU. You see the three bowl victories. Bill Mallory, one of the greats in the Mallory Cup, dedicated moments ago. Yeah, remarkable to be in two Hall of Fames. Not one, two, and, and he should be in a third. Childers with all kinds of time. The two receivers in the area. It'll be a gain of 11 as Barati makes the stop. And Roy, one more thing about Bill Mallory. He, he was an absolute great head coach at Indiana University as well. And, and Rod Carey, the head coach of NIU, played for him. He was a center under Bill Mallory. Jay Brown making the last catch. That'll move the chains. Tears in motion. And halfway through our first quarter, still scoreless. And off across the 30 is Harbison. Picks up some more tough yards. It'll bring up second down and short. Well, and NIU has their heavy package in right now. They have multiple tight ends. Three tight ends in the game right now. Big Dale Brown, number one. 6'3", 300-pounder at one tight end up top. And they are determined to run the football out of this formation. You love a tight end that wears numero one. Numero uno. Play action. Tears has it into plus territory and brought down at the 45. Spencer Tears, a big play, a gain of 23. You got to like it. Chuck Martin, head coach of Miami, dialing it up on defense, just leaving his corner on man coverage. And why not? They show heavy package, try to stop the run, but then they break tendency, they throw the ball out of it. So we hear the phrase or the term RPO. Is that what that was? No, that's a design play right there. They, they set that up nicely. And, you know, everyone would expect they'd run the ball out of that formation. Harbinson plows ahead for a gain of four. Allen the tackle. Run pass option, one of the catchphrases that uh, all of the announcers like to talk about. And I love leaning on our trusted analysts to say, hey, this is what's happening. This is how we're deciphering what's going on. That wasn't an RPO. It was a simple design call. No, but I'll tell you what, the Chiefs and the Rams, everyone's running RPO these days, even the NFL guys. Second catch for D.J. Brown, sent out of bounds inside the 40 by Rucker Furlow. And Roy, just want to take a moment, I'll just uh, send well wishes and, and thoughts and prayers out to the people in California all the fires, all the tragedy, tra the recent tragedies out there. Well, no doubt about it. Interesting how the Monday Night Football game has moved back from Mexico City to Los Angeles at the Coliseum next week due to bad turf for that game. Marcus Jones tap dances his way for a gain of two. I'll bring up fourth down and two and an interesting decision now for Rod Carey. And Corey Lurch, Timeout converted field, linebacker, now a tight end. And also media. And is banged up. A position that has struggled with injuries all year continues here tonight. Sometimes a cough gets in the way of a good night's sleep. That's when he needs Vicks VapoRub, proven cough medicine with eight hours of vapors so he can sleep. Vicks VapoRub, good night coughs. And the award goes to Kendra. I gotta go. I gotta go. I just wanna just.
Oh my gosh. I want to thank my mom, my manager, my babysitter. Look, girl, mommy's on TV. Yeah. Time to go to bed. Damn, your order is ready. And I'd like to thank my dog walker. Your order is ready. It feels like a big win thank when you. you get a deal like this. Introducing McDonald's new $6 classic meal deal. Choose one of four favorites. Plus, any size soft drink, small fries, and a pie. All for just $6. This year, give the gift they've been dreaming of. The magic of a Walt Disney World vacation. From the most wondrous experiences to the most special treasures, the gift of Walt Disney World makes dreams come true. Let's be honest. Every insurance company tells you they can save you money. Save up to 10% when you bundle with insurance. Including me, insurance spokesperson Dennis Quaid. He's a pretty good spokesperson. Yeah. So when I say drivers who switch from Geico to insurance saved an average of $412, you probably won't believe me. Hey, actor lady whose scene was cut. Hi. But you can believe this insurance employee, Nancy Abraham. Seriously, send her an email and ask her yourself. No emails. No emails. When insurance is affordable, it's surprisingly painless. Slinging gives you the flexibility to watch the live TV you love. Speaking of flexibility, try new positions like the protractor. Watch Sling seven days week. What a game this should be coming up. Week 11, Monday Night Football, the Rams and the Chiefs. Both teams at 8-1, Patrick Mahomes, Todd Gurley, 8-15 Eastern on ESPN. And also ESPN Deportes in the ESPN app. And of course, you talk about the magic of the Chiefs and Kareem Hunt, one of the key players coming out of the MAC at Toledo. His career, he rushed for almost 5,000 yards. He also caught 73 passes for another 555 and a score. And Hunt will be on display. And I tell you what, a lot of these scouts watch these Maction games. Scout of the week. Scout, how about, how about head coach Andy Reid? Andy Reid's watching Max on, he's watching Maction on Wednesday night. That's how he located Kareem Hunt. Now the Huskies going for it on fourth on down. 14, five yard penalty, fourth down. And the false start on tears will change the complexion of this drive. So we saw a couple of first downs for both sides for the defenses find a way, even if that circumstance was by penalty. And that's not gonna make Rod Carey a happy camper. No, no it's not. Ference back on the field. They try to pin him down deep. Sorensen watches that one. Skip out inside the 10. Well, a punt of 31 yards. Red Hawks will take over. Talked a lot about Sutton Smith already. He has been an absolute weapon even on special teams this year. In fact, Blocked a punt last week in the big win against Toledo. A little scoop and score action. He shows you his athleticism here. Well, and Roy, the, the importance of that play, they were up 10-9 to 9 over Toledo. That was the last play before the half ended, and he, he ends up beating two different blockers. I mean, that was a spectacular play. Lonzo Smith spun around. He's going to lose a yard. Well, I think it's an interesting decision after this season. You mentioned it earlier. He still has one year of eligibility left, 15 in black, Sutton Smith. And led the country in sacks last year, leads the MAC in sacks this year. You can make the argument, what does he have to prove still at this level? I think it's going to be an interesting conversation between himself and Rod Carey right now on the sideline. Yeah, and he gets a, gets a short break on the field right now. He rarely comes off the field. But uh, he, he will have some interesting decisions ahead of him, and they're going to do the research, and they'll see what the NFL says about him at the end of this year. Ragland sensing backside pressure, dumps it off. That'll be good enough for a first down. Kyle Pugh, the stop, a flag late on the field as Sorensen makes his second reception, that one for 15. He fell down. He fell down. Well, I'm curious to get your thoughts Maybe what Tom Ramsey would tell Sutton Smith in his camp based off what we see tonight, and you've watched a lot of film this week. Yeah, yeah. And it, personal foul targeting. 
Defense number eight. The previous play is under further review. McKelty Williams, the guilty party. Take it to the replay booth, and William Laud is our replay official tonight. Well, the head, the head does come in. And if there is a targeting call, that might be the framework by which to work by and to, as a teaching video. The launching, hitting with the crown of the helmet, and then hitting above the shoulders really qualifies with all the major categories. Kelty Williams, you know, Roy, he's going After low. After the play, confirming or targeting on defense number eight. Number eight is disqualified from the remainder of the game. The 15-yard penalty be added to the end of the run. First down. And that's a big loss, too, because Trayshawn Foster is also out. So two safeties, a lot of starting experience now missing in the NIU secondary. Yeah, it was interesting. I was talking to the referee, uh, Tim O'Day, before the game, and I said, hey, have you had a lot of targeting calls recently? Just on average, how's it been? He goes, you know, we really haven't had that many. And I'm like, really? I go, well, that's good. Maybe we won't have one tonight. And sure enough, first quarter, Williams gets tossed. I'll push the ball all the way to the 37-yard line. Less than four to go in a fast-moving first quarter. Here's Raglan. Into the flats. Oh, Thomas is going to lose a couple. Jordan Cole got there first. You're going to lose four. Nice play by Jordan Cole because the back is on the swing route. Raglan comes off late to Thomas, the back. And sure enough, Cole's right there. Assignment driven football right on top of it. I really have enjoyed this week and watching these two programs. There's elements of old schoolness, if you will, to both sides. They also run the spread. They throw it around a little bit. You're going to play for one of these teams. You got to play hard and you got to do it for four quarters. And there's Sutton Smith. Well, well, there's number 15. And Roy, let me let me finish the answer to the question because you asked me and, and you know what what position might he play at the next level? I don't know if he's a defensive end because the tackles are not 300 pound tackles in this league. They're, they're 270, 280, 290, yeah. Sutton Smith though gets double teamed a lot. Could he add a little weight? Yeah. I think where he may play in the NFL though, he may be a strong safety. He runs well. Really? Yeah, yeah. If you go to a, to a run stop defense, he becomes a great fit guy as a strong safety. On third down and 16, a quick run by Kenny Young. He'll get some of that lost yardage back. And the Red Hawks will have to punt it away after Heflin and Pugh combine to make the stop. And remember, Sutton Smith in high school, he was a running back. He like 2,000-yard running back. Like, I mean, this guy had some talent. He showed up on campus at NIU, and he was on offense for like four days. Well, and then they this. go, you know, hey, the defense needs some help. And yeah. they had to kind of get him down there, coerce him a little bit. And once he came down there, it never looked back. Now the flip side for Smith, what if he gained another 10 or 15 pounds? As Tucker spins around, is going to lose a couple after the 48-yard punt. More on that coming up. 122 remaining here in our first, and we're still scoreless. I'm not on the field for me. For more pack events, sign up now for ESPN+. Plus. UCF looks to extend their streak on Saturday night. Every TV doctor knows nothing's more important than a good bedside manner. I don't know how to say this. It's okay, Doc. Give it to me straight. No, you don't understand. I don't know how to say this. I'm just a TV doctor. They also know you should get your annual checkup. It could save your life. Schedule a checkup with your doctor. Know your four health numbers and start taking control of your health today. Cigna, together, all the way. Kyrie, 
some danger. Caution, I'll crush her over, crush her, and break her ankle. Raptors, Celtics at 7, Bulls, Bucks at 9.30. Friday on ESPN, presented by State Farm. The country is in desperate need of gun control. You want to take away my rights? <gasps> Neither of you know as much about gun violence as you think you do. You know what's really far out? Drug cartels have infiltrated the avocado trade. The mattress industry? It's all a big bed of lies designed to rip you off. Hey, that's illegal. Adam Ruins Everything returns November 27th. Games headed your way, week 12 in college football. Up first in the Big 12, 3.30 Eastern. Will Greer, number nine, WVU. Head down to Stillwater to tangle with Oklahoma State. Then headed your way at 8 Eastern. Nine and one, Cincinnati. Taking on undefeated UCF in the American Athletic Conference. And as always, both games live on the ESPN app. So you can watch anywhere you may go. And Tom, we've seen Cincinnati a couple of times this year. Bearcats are for real under second year head man Luke Fickle. Inside give as NIU takes over. The Mac West champions. No gain on the play. And, and we've come a long way. We uh, we had uh, UCF at Cincinnati last year, and it was the only game I've ever worked, Roy, where the game ended without the final whistle. NIU lost Corey Lurch moments ago. And another injury on the field here is Perez appears to be banged up. Yeah, that didn't look good for Perez. <laughs> 109 remaining here in our first quarter and Christopher Perez Jr. Going to break, going to break. So we step aside for a timeout. Even the best shoppers like to get a head start. So hurry to Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's for huge pre-Black Friday savings, like a Bass Pro Rogue Remote Control Drone for under $30 and Redhead Men's Suede Mock Slip-Ons for under $35. Sports fans are gearing up at Fanatics.com, the world's largest collection of officially licensed fan gear from all the leagues, teams, and players you love. Shop now and get today's special offer. Fanatics.com, officially licensed everything. My name is Jeff Sheldon, and I'm the founder of Monk. Before ShipStation, it was crazy. Like, it's great when you see, you know, 100 orders come in, but then you realize, I got 100 orders that I actually have to ship out. ShipStation streamlined that whole process. The order data, the weights of the items, everything is seamlessly put into ShipStation. So when we print the shipping label, everything's pretty much done. It's so much easier. So now we're ready, you know, bring on the orders. ShipStation, the number one choice of online sellers. Go to ShipStation.com slash try and get two months free. Christopher Perez Jr. hopping off the field moments ago. Offensive lineman for NIU, and I tell you, injuries, mentioned it earlier on both sides, have created major issues for both of these teams this year. Second player for the Huskies exiting the playing field here in our first quarter. Tom Ramsey, Roy Philpott, Wednesday night in action. And second down and 11 after the loss of a yard. Marcus Childers, a quarterback, a redshirt sophomore. Staff telling us this week they like his ability to get this team into the right play. He'll fling it. Caught by Wesley. Boy, he battled that one for a moment. He'll pick up 15 in a first down. No, he did. Yeah, Childers so far tonight, 6 and 9. Actually, 6 of 7 tonight. He's been accurate, Roy. Operating with tempo, pocket collapses, and there goes Childers. A scamper out of bounds, close to another first down at the 45. Mike Brown ushered him out. Well, Childers so far tonight, again, really good decision making, pulling it down when he needs to. Six of seven on the night, throwing 55 yards, and then three carries. And 
25 yards. It's, he's having a nice night. Well, from what we've seen with him on the ground, he is slippery. We saw that on film, but even more so in person. Yeah, he's rushed for 100 yards this year in a game. Earlier this year, when they put up yards rushing, they're, they're tough. Harbison picked up 100 yards his last time out. He's done it five times this season. Tripped up short of the 30. That's a gain of 18. Well, you had to know that the dam was going to break pretty soon. And right now, Miami's playing the quarter, on the field. without their best tackler on the field, Brad Koenig. Scoreless first 15 minutes in the books. Northern Illinois threatening for the first time. UCF looks to extend their streak on Saturday night. Give extra, get extra. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Girl, Pepto Ultra Coating will treat your stomach right. Nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Try Pepto with Ultra Coating. Let's be honest. Every insurance company tells you they can save you money. Save up to 10% when you bundle with insurance. Including me, insurance spokesperson Dennis Quaid. He's a pretty good spokesperson. Yeah. So when I say drivers who switched from Geico to insurance saved an average of $412, you probably won't believe me. Hey, actor lady who's seen was cut. Hi. But you can believe this insurance employee, Nancy Abraham. Seriously, send her an email and ask her yourself. No emails. No emails. When insurance is affordable, it's surprisingly painless. This year, give the gift they've been dreaming of. The magic of a Walt Disney World vacation. From the most wondrous experiences to the most special treasures, the gift of Walt Disney World makes dreams come true. I'd like to retire early. Let's talk about this when we meet next week. Edward Jones came to manage a trillion dollars in assets under care by focusing our mind on whatever's on yours. At the Joseph A. Bank Black Friday sale, save up to 70% on almost everything in store. All traveler suits, $249. All traveler dress shirts, two for $79. Plus buy one, get one free store wide. From stitch to store, that's the bank way. You don't need any special training to start slinging. But you do need to limber up. Breathe, Daddy. Yeah, there you go, breathe. Look at me, look at me, no crying, no crying. <laughs> hey, guys, the game's about to start. You can pull a hammy slinging if you don't warm up. One last push. Yeah. We were slinging until well past midnight. Until my quad seized up. Sling TV is the live TV you love with no long-term contracts. Only $25 a month. Watch seven days free at slingtv.com. Monday Night Football is in your future. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Two of the best in the NFL go head-to-head -head on Monday Night Football. Patrick Mahomes leads the explosive 9-1 Chiefs. Mahomes, showtime! Against Todd Gurley and the 9-1 Rams. Gurley, who gets the edge and scores the touchdown! Monday Night Football, Chiefs-Rams. Monday at 8.15 on ESPN. 38. Start of our second quarter. Back into Cal. Tom Ramsey, Roy Philpot, Mac West champion Huskies. Trying to get things cooking. Brad Caning on the sideline, leading tackler for the Red Hawks. He stepped off the field moments ago. And we'll track to see if he comes back on. NIU threatening for the first time as DJ Brown makes his third catch and pummeled short of the 30. And Caning has back spasms. Chuck Martin shared that with me prior to the game. He was questionable whether he'd play or not tonight. Well, you know he's going to give it a go. He's going to give it the old college try. He sure did. After a gain of four, 23 tackles against Army this year. 23 tackles. You knew that he's getting the fullback right up in his grill. That's a physical contest. Childers. 
Try to bounce it outside. A shoestring stop at the 28 by Miles Reed. Childers kind of trying to pick his spot that time. I think sometimes you just got to honk it up, up, up in there. Got a little cute that time. Trying to find a, a run lane. Now, Rod Carey told us this week, you know, his numbers aren't sexy. He needs to take the next step. We feel like he's getting closer. I think a lot of people forget he's just a redshirt sophomore. He's got a lot of great football ahead of him. Here comes the pressure. Somehow escapes. Flag on the field. And there goes Marcus Childers. Nifty move plus the spin brought down short of the 10-yard line pending the penalty. It's a gain of 19 yards. A nifty run there. Oh. Childers doing his Gus Ragland imitation. Holding offense number 64. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Third down. Luke Shively, the former walk on and standout center for NIU, the guilty party, 64 in black. Yeah, Luke Shively making all the calls at center for the Huskies. He just gets flagged right there with a takedown. Take it down, Doug Costin, who's a handful. Doug Costin, probably the second best player for Miami. Just so good at that point. An interesting net night in the MAC so far. It's third down and 14 coming up for the Huskies. Over on ESPN2, it's halftime. Ohio throttling Buffalo. 31 to 10. Try to set up the screen. It's Marcus Jones. Couldn't catch up to it. Play was blown up early. Doug Costin again. There's your guy. Well, nice play that time by Miami. They, they showed they were, they were going to rush four. They ended up bringing a fifth. Ryan McWood coming from middle linebacker. And he came unaccounted for and unblocked. And Childers had to get rid of the ball early, trying to set up a screen and just overthrew his man. Well, Ference has been wonderful, Roy. He's put two punts inside the 20 tonight. That's what he does. Decent pressure. Sorensen waves for the fair catch. The 13-yard line. 13-13 remaining here in our first half. Wednesday night matching. I'm out on the field for me here. proudly offers wireless and TV discounts to military, veterans, first responders, and their families. Visit att.com slash hero. Do. Do your thing. Be driven. Powerful. Be inspired. Be extraordinary. Turn off the highway and soar. Spread your wings. Mazda. Feel alive. Your digestive system has billions of bacteria, but life can throw them off balance. Realign yourself with Align Probiotic. And try new Align gummies with prebiotics and probiotics to help support digestive health. When it comes to finding great deals, it's always good to get a head start. <laughs> no matter who you are. So hurry to Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's for huge pre-Black Friday savings. Like this Cabela's 10-tray deluxe dehydrator for under $100. A master-built Sportsman Elite extra-wide smoker for under $180. And a Bass Pro 30-quart aluminum turkey fryer for under $40. Shop in-store or online to get free two-day shipping. Life's more than a race to the finish. It's the power to choose what you do and a trainer for where you go. Welcome to Thailand. Ready to get started? It's having a friend as a partner with a plan built specifically for you. It's someone there for every weight, lift, and crunch. Nice work, you guys. It's motivation, inspiring you mentally and physically, showing you new Not things, easy. and taking you to new places. Because with your let's trainers, go, go. fitness is an adventure. I'll see you again tomorrow for another amazing workout. The X22i from Nordic Track. Your life, your trainers. 
Senior night back in DeKalb. 19 seniors being honored shortly before kickoff earlier this evening for the Mac West champion, Northern Illinois Huskies. What a night for Rod Carey. You know, he told us the trick to senior night is it's going to be emotional and it's okay to be emotional because we're invested in this thing. But then you got to compartmentalize it and move on. I don't know if they've done that so far tonight but a lot of emotion displayed earlier this evening. Tom Ramsey, Roy Philpott, Miami football. Scoreless game here in our second quarter. Ragland with time fires it. And a dart is caught far side. Jalen Embry makes the stop on Sorensen. They're gonna give him a first down, I believe. The official directed the chain gang to move and they will. Using tempo far side, spin move. to give him a first down, I believe. The official directed the chain gang to move, and they will. Using tempo far side. Spin move by Smith. And Embry again the hit. I like what Miami continues to do. It, you know, they're using little mix run pass. The center, Danny Godlewski, making it work tonight, making the calls up front. For his man, Gus Raglan, and Godlewski out of Indianapolis. Roy grades out really high. One of the top players on that line. And after a gain of eight, Smith stuck at the line. Lance DeVoe, the tackle. 37 in black had something to say there. It'll bring up third down. Well, if you look at that offensive line, they averaged 300 pounds across the board. Anchored by 51. Tommy Doyle's a pretty good player, too. The right tackle, 54. I mean, they got some guys. Third and short now. This is when you can operate. There's a look at the, the big nasties. We'll show a power package out of the diamond set. And play action. Raglan. Will buy some time, head up, feel close to first down yardage, and in fact, he got just enough. So good, so good, Roy, in terms of deciding when to run. They end up rolling out, and then the next thing you know, he spins back around. That, that is just heads up play by Raglan, and then knowing where the sticks are to get the first. Gus Raglan had no FBS offers. Coming out of high school, outside Miami, Ohio. Yeah, run heavy offense in high school, you know, not throwing it a lot. Kenny Young, the carry, slung down near the 35. Hey, what's impressive about him, protecting the football, just four interceptions this year, but began his career in his first 203 passes without throwing a pick. You love the ability to protect the football in this conference. A perfect six for six start tonight. One of these teams has to make a play down the field. Wynn starting to pick up a little bit, which could wreak havoc on the passing attacks. Yeah, Ragland's touchdown to interception ratio is phenomenal in the red zone. Jet Sweep Mo Thomas picks up a first down and a lot more. Brought down near the 50. And a gain of 14. Traquan Smith, the backup safety starting tonight. Made the tackle. You know, Roy, this is one of these games. You know, Miami, you let them hang around a little bit. They, they might come up and hit you in the mouth pretty good because 
They got guys, they got an offensive line that could push that front four around. And as we speak, NIU subbing out two of the four defensive linemen. Heflin comes out. And the versatile Kenny Young off to the races. Stays in bounds, will tiptoe his way inside the 30. DeVoe made the stop. Young had other intentions on that play. Love this guy, Kenny Young. Ninth, comes into this game, 1,900 career yards, tapping on 2,000. And he also is a great receiver out of the backfield. He almost has 1,000 yards receiving. He'll be the first player at Miami, Ohio, to accomplish that. 2,000 rush yards, 1,000 receiving yards. Remarkable. And that's a next level guy there. After a gain of 23, he'll get the call once again. Stopped in the backfield. He'll gain a yard. Then Leroy was able to get there to knock him down. I'll ask you this too. Senior night, an emotional night for NIU. Yeah. But in a weird way, the Huskies clinched the Mac West Championship last night yeah. after Western Michigan lost at Ball State in an upset. And so you wonder, do the Huskies maybe take their foot off the gas somewhat knowing they have punched their ticket to the Mac title game? <laughs> That's a great question. I mean, it, you know, to be human, right? I mean, you kind of know, oh, well, we already won the, we've won the West, but you still want to play for pride Coach Carey will not allow them to not play as hard as they can. And, you know, they'll bring it. But, you know, Roy, in the back of your mind, you know, you're, yeah, you've won your division. And so you kind of go, yeah. They're not letting off, though. I don't, I don't see them letting off at any point tonight. Mo Thomas was brought down by Kyle Pugh. It'll bring up third down and seven, almost halfway through our second quarter. Critical play coming up for the Red Hawks. Miami won its last game, the battle for the Bricks against arch rival Ohio. They'll set up the tunnel screen. Red Hawk first down. Sorensen dives across. He'll gain nine on third and seven, so a nifty looking play there by Miami. Well, Eric Kaler, the offensive coordinator, does an absolutely great job play calling on this play and, and they go at they went at Sutton Smith with the tunnel screen and they put him one-on-one -on -one with Tommy Doyle and that's they knew what they were getting he was going to beat Tommy Doyle and he did just that and but the about, ball went right over his head right and how about this start too by Raglan a perfect seven for seven in these cold conditions Roy the most amazing stat about Augustus Gus Raglan 50 to 1 ratio. Touchdown to interception down in the red zone. Zoe Smith tripped up. He'll lose a yard. And, and here's how you get the 50 to 1. 39 pass TDs, 11 rush TDs, and the plus 20 for his career. Career. 50 to 1. I mean, the guy doesn't turn it over. His record as a starting quarterback against Mac teams, 13 and 4. I think Chuck Martin would take issue with that. He's actually 13 and three, according to his yeah. <laughs> esteemed head coach, because he considers the game he was taken out yeah. against Bowling Green before it ended as a game that should not count against that ledger. Chuck Martin's good, too. I said, man, you guys are so good in the red zone. He goes, you know, we are if we can get there tonight. I'm like, oh, yeah, you'll get there. Charge timeout, Northern Illinois. This will also be a media timeout. They're inside the red zone now, facing second and long when we come back. $36,000. One out of eight Americans struggles with hunger. This season, you can help. Now through December 29th, for every Oh That's Good pizza, soup, or side you purchase, we'll donate a meal to Feeding America. Because, oh, that's good. 
Let's be honest. Every insurance company tells you they can save you money. Save up to 10% when you bundle with insurance. Including me, insurance spokesperson Dennis Quaid. He's a pretty good spokesperson. Yeah. So when I say drivers who switch from Geico to insurance saved an average of $412, you probably won't believe me. Hey, actor lady whose scene was cut. Hi. But you can believe this insurance employee, Nancy Abraham. Seriously, send her an email and ask her yourself. No emails. No emails. When insurance is affordable, it's surprisingly painless. Small Direct Club fits into my lifestyle so well. The liner is so great, it's easy to just grab it and go, and then I can change on the road. Small Direct Club giving him a great smile. How can you not love him? A smile is a first impression. That's why I think having a great smile is so important. Mac football fans, all of this year's Maction will again culminate in Detroit with the 22nd annual Marathon Mac Football Championship game on Friday, November 30th on ESPN2. Tune in all season to see which teams will match up in this year's championship game and be sure to follow the road to Detroit on GetSomeAction.com. The Mac Football Championship is presented by Marathon, fueling the American spirit. Fifth season for head coach Chuck Martin. His team on the road tonight here in DeKalb in a scoreless contest, but Miami now threatening. Tom Ramsey, Roy Philpott, second down and 11 coming up. And you see the offense catching fire. They've scored 30 or more in their last seven contests. A couple of close losses in those seven games. A one point setback at Army, failing on a two point conversion late, plus a Lost to Western Michigan. It's a field goal miss at the buzzer. But the offense has not been an issue. Well, you, you know, you know what I like about both these teams, Roy. I like how they schedule. They, they, they don't, they don't, they're not scheduling the Citadel. They got Cincinnati. <laughs> they got Minnesota. They got Iowa. They got Utah. They, they got some, they got some teams now. They play out of conference. Minnesota, Cincinnati, Marshall. Jet sweep action. And on second and 11, a gain of five. Smith with the stop as Jalen Bester records his first carry of the night. Well, again, Raglan so good down here. Miami so good down here in the red zone. And, you know, do you ask yourself, do you, do you throw it here? You know, they've had a good little dose of run on this drive. And, and they're in pass formation now. They got five across the board. I'd expect pass. Empty backfield. Miami three of five on third down. Raglan off his back foot. That'll be his first incompletion. And will likely force a Red Hawk field goal attempt. Well, I believe they were trying to get the ball to, to Mayock. And off that little jet sweep action, hoping the corner was just peeking in a little bit, but I believe that was Embry that uh, didn't fall for it at all. 30-yard field goal attempt. Samuel Sloman on the field. A 13-play drive. And with a 30-yard effort. That is good, and Miami strikes first. Sloman now 9 for 12 this year. 3-0 our score. UCF looks to extend their streak on Saturday night. Let's be honest. Every insurance company tells you they can save you money. Save up to 10% when you bundle with insurance. Including me, insurance spokesperson Dennis Quaid. He's a pretty good spokesperson. Yeah. So when I say drivers who switch from Geico to insurance saved an average of $412, you probably won't believe me. Hey, actor lady whose scene was cut. Hi. But you can believe this insurance employee, Nancy Abraham. Seriously, send her an email and ask her yourself. No emails. No emails. When insurance is affordable, it's surprisingly painless. This year, give the gift they've been dreaming of. The magic of a Walt Disney World vacation. From the most wondrous experiences to the most special treasures, the gift of Walt Disney World makes dreams come true. I am the new DQ Hungry Up deal. 
Three deals to choose from at four, five, or six bucks with chicken strips, fries, and a mini blizzard. Three deals for the hungry-ish, hungry, and even hangry. Because I'm not fast food, I am fan food. Happy holidays, bakers. Tis the season to be jolly. This is Holiday Baking Championship. The finest bakers put on their festive fest. It's super cool. It's super cool. All the classic holiday desserts. From seasonal sweets. This is going to taste amazing. To magical morsels. This is a mouthful of flavor. And decked out desserts. I love this. As they get into the spirit of holiday baking. Oh, oh, oh. All new. Holiday Baking Championship. Monday night at 9. Only on Food Network. I am the new DQ Hungry Up deal. Three deals to choose from at four, five, or six bucks with chicken strips, fries, and a mini blizzard. Three deals for the hungry-ish, hungry, and even hangry. Because I'm not fast food, I am fan food. Three nothing our score, Miami leading NIU. And moments ago, Nate Becker wide open, the tight end. Raglan missed him. Uh, we're talking about how good Gus Ragland is in the red zone. When he flips on the film tomorrow, Roy, he's going to see his tight end sneaking right down the middle of the field without a defender on him. And they were trying to work the ball outside the Mayock, but Becker ended up appearing, and they just thought they didn't think they were going to get a two look. They got a two, cover two look. Safety's playing over the top outside. Tight end wide open down the seam. Next time. I mean, the tight end's your best friend. You're a former quarterback, right? That's your guy. Yeah, usually. Yeah, one of them. Bear, 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 bear. Coca Sulis tight end. that one. Tight end's kind of like, like a play-by-play -play partner. And don't forget, coming up Saturday, two big games in Week 12. First in the Big 12, 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 Central. Will Greer, ninth-ranked WVU. 8-1 this year, taking on Oklahoma State and still water than an 8 Eastern. 9-1 Cincinnati. Undefeated UCF on ABC. And as always, you can watch every single one of these games on the ESPN app. If you haven't downloaded that, well, the time is now. Back to Wednesday night in action as Marcus Jones scoots ahead for a gain of four. I, I like both those games a lot. I, I like West Virginia. I like what uh, Will Greer has done. I love Mackenzie Milton, but Cincinnati's really been the surprise, right? They kind of just keep on winning. You think about their front four, Fitz, Copeland, they've got weapons really in their front seven that could disrupt Mackenzie Milton. I think that's a game worth watching. Ty Harmston, tight end, makes a grab near the 30. Mike Brown sent him out of bounds, so it'll bring up third down. UCF, I believe, about an eight or nine point favorite, and Cincinnati's really? going to challenge the Knights. The game day is going to be there. I know there's a yeah. lot of hoopla surrounding it, but the fighting Fickles and the Bearcats are, I think, going to bring a nasty defense down to Orlando. I think Luke Fickle will, you know, he'll have his team ready to play without question, and, and they'll have a great plan offensively, too. What a job he's done in just his second season. Certainly has to be in consideration for Coach of the Year honors nifty couple of moves by spencer tears that'll move the sticks i've just thought milton is a guy you know if anything happens to him i, I don't know if they can win a game because i don't know who the backup is right <laughs> it's one of those mckenzie milton well, has done it repeatedly and you know what they've drilled off what 23 straight consecutive wins inside handoff stopped at the line Milton's been the best quarterback in college football the last two seasons. Calcagno with the stop there. Well, this year there's some good ones. You know, you know, he's up for Heisman consideration. Kyler Murray, Oklahoma. Tua Tunga Vailoa. Tua Tunga Vailoa, absolutely. Just because, I mean, he hasn't, even though he's, he's banged up a little bit, still in consideration. What about Will Greer? Well, Gardner Minshew. Keep throwing names, aren't you? <laughs> and off to Jones. For the 41. Interesting how last night there was really no drama in the college football playoff rankings release. Yeah. Third down coming up for the Huskies, just one for four tonight. Well, it was the first time ever, Roy, that the CFP ranking did not change in the top ten. 
plenty of time. Childers finally flush flag on the field back at the 40. He'll pick up the first down. We'll check the penalty. He did a nice job buying time. He did. Perhaps there was a hold somewhere involved. Officially a gain of nine yards on third down. Here's Timothy O'Day. Holding. Offense number 65. Ten yard penalty from the previous spot. Third down. Costly penalty against the Huskies. First meeting between these two teams in two years. Last time they met back in 2016 at Miami. Yeah, I thought we'd see a few more points in the first half here. I'm kind of surprised each team's kind of like, you know, punching, kind of, you know, throwing jabs, and, and no one's gone for the haymaker yet. Yet to see a big play by either side in this contest. Third and 16. Pocket for Childers. Surveys, releases. First down. Ty Harmston's second reception. The ball pops out, however, and Miami recovers. Sterling Weatherford popped it loose after a gain of 22. And the first turnover of the night, Weatherford recovered. The ruling on the field is the catch. The pass was caught, fumbled, recovered by the defense. First down, Miami. Well, Harmston sits down right in the zone, and then he just gets hammered. And that's just a great defensive play there. Rucker furlough coming from the safety position and just drills Harmston. Ball comes out, and... Weatherford right there to make the timely play for Miami. Well, the Red Hawks on the road in business with the lead. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct. Northern Illinois head coach, 15 yard penalty, first down. That is the head coach's first unsportsmanlike conduct foul of the game. Rod Carey a bit emotional after that sequence. Well, he's a fiery guy. I mean, former offensive lineman, center for Indiana. Rod Carey, he'll get fired up. I was impressed with just their walkthrough yesterday. We were standing there, Roy. I mean, it, they ran it like it was a military drill. I mean, it was like clockwork. So after the penalty, the Red Hawks will take over in NIU territory at the 41-yard line, already leading 3-0 here on the road. First with less than three minutes remaining, you got to think the Red Hawks love to put another couple of points on the board here. Lead the clock. Head to the break. A two score advantage. Well, and they have three timeouts, plenty of time. 240 on the clock. And you have the master in the red zone at the quarterback position, Gus Ragland. Smith, the running back. Punishing run will gain two. And they got a nice two-headed weapon there in the backfield with Kenny Young and Alonzo Smith, and Mo Thomas has done some damage this year as well. Alonzo Smith more of the bruiser. First-team All-State performer as a senior in high school down in the Sunshine State, Riviera Beach. He was the offensive MVP for the Red Hawks last year, and Young... Talked a lot about his versatility. Nice one-two punch. Raglan. Thomas. A couple of moves back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Weston Kramer blew that one up. Well, the NIU defense does such a great job keeping the ball in front of them. And they keep the over-the-top leverage, Roy, because I thought, thought Miami might take a shot deep there. They might catch. NIU in a little bit of a blitz situation, but again, they can get home with four guys, and it's really because Sutton Smith, 15, is on the end of the line of scrimmage. Smith up top from his defensive end position. Really have to commit two people to him or shrink that tight end down. Pocket collapses, and down goes Raglan. He'll lose a yard. Big number 12. 
Josh Corcoran was able to sneak in there. Well, we talk about Sutton Smith so much. Corcoran on the other side, he gets Price manned up out, a ton. Illinois. This will also be a media timeout. 105 remaining here in our first half. Please reset the game clock for one minute and eight seconds. At the Joseph A. Bank Black Friday sale, save up to 70% on almost everything in store. All traveler suits, $249. All traveler dress shirts, two for seven. Off lives on ESPN. Fourth down coming up for Miami. Everybody talking about the upcoming playoff. 3-0 our score. Red Hawks on the road with the advantage. And interesting, we wondered. Chuck Martin would try to roll the dice there during that timeout by NIU and decide to go for it. He does not. And NIU will take over with poor field position. Tom Ramsey, Roy Philpott. After the 33-yard punt, Huskies will take over. And a reminder coming up, the halftime report, Molly McGrath, Trevor Maddich. Big set of games coming up on Saturday. They'll have previews, plus UCF Cincinnati and the CFP picture. I mean, right now, Bama, Clemson, Notre Dame, Michigan, Georgia, OU, all right there in the mix. And you and I have debated in recent weeks. It feels like Clemson, Alabama have created separation, but you've really been high on Notre Dame as maybe that I third have. team. I have. Yeah, I think they fit in. I'm, I'm curious to hear what Trevor Maddox says, too, and regarding that CFP. Did anyone ask Rob Mullins how LSU stays at number seven? Well, we saw the reveal last night. And we all were pretty much stunned by that. If you inspect what's to come in the weeks ahead, if Washington State, West Virginia win games. Charge timeout, Miami. They're first of the half. This will be a 30-second timeout. They will leapfrog the SEC Tigers. Still surprising LSU sitting there at number seven. It, in our estimation, it really doesn't add up as you take a look at the college football playoff rankings presented by Goodyear. Washington State right there at eight, and WVU, in our minds, ahead of LSU right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think in a lot of people's minds across the country, Roy, where LSU, I, I thought, you know, in the AP and the other poll, which doesn't, you know, the USA Today poll, which doesn't mean Hill of Beans anymore because the CFP is the bona fide source for the playoff, but they have them at LSU at 10. And, and I thought that's even a little high. Yeah. A lot of people would agree, but next couple of weeks it'll have a chance to work itself out, so to speak. Childers spins his way ahead to the 14. Always does. You know what I love about the CFP? You, you know, if you want to sit and argue about the fifth best team in the country, plenty good, plenty good. But I like. This will be a 30-second timeout. I, I like that we can get the top four, and and people go, yep, those are a good four, and let them play the games and crown a champ because. That's how it should be done. And, and listen, I'm a little different than some people. I think Notre Dame has earned the right to be next in line to Alabama, if you will. And uh, some of that strength of schedule, they're going to get Syracuse this week. And uh, it's going to be interesting. And Clemson, I think, has played well all year. And Jim Harbaugh is doing a great job with Michigan. I like Oklahoma and Washington State over Georgia. I'm probably the only person in the country. Georgia's good, though. They keep coming on, keep playing better. They're going to have their shot. They're going to have their chance. Beat Bama, you're in. Simple that's as right. that in the SEC championship. That, that's game. right. That's how, that's how I look at it. You know what? You win that game, you deserve it. That is a play-in game for the college football playoff. As Brown makes the tackle. A first down picked up by NIU. As time winds down here in our first half. You mentioned the Syracuse-Notre Dame game. That'll be another data point for the committee because Syracuse nearly upset Clemson on the road more than a month ago. Now, Clemson's yeah. played at a different level since then, but that game will be at Yankee Stadium this weekend. Still another way to judge who should be ahead of whom in yeah, the coming weeks. That, that was the first game. Kelly Bryant was out. Trevor Lawrence, his first start, he got knocked out. That's the end of the first half. Dicey for Dabo. Halftime, Wednesday night action. And a defensive slugfest has broken out into Cal. 3-0 our score, the Red Hawks on the road with the lead. Trying to improve to 5-2 in league play. Can they do it? We'll 
find out in just a couple of minutes. Halftime report coming up after this break. Wait, what? Everyone's excited about the Chevy vehicles at the Chevy Black Friday sales event. I could get used to this. Wow. And you will be too when you get 0% financing on our award-winning Chevy cars, trucks, and SUVs. How is that even possible? <laughs> now get 0% financing for 72 months on... Mixed run and pass while Gus Ragland missed one play to the end zone. He missed his tight end that came open, but, you know, they've had a good plan of action so far, and Kenny Young almost sprung open after this Thomas run. Kenny Young was down the sideline, and that was the play that Miami almost broke open there. And then they had the nice third down play to Sorensen. And, you know, they settled for three, but right now it's it's been enough. Three points have been enough. Question is, will that continue? And the one turnover, the fumble by the tight end. Miami unable to cash that in for points. But NIU threatened a couple of times in that first half. They got to find a way to create a spark on offense because it hasn't been there yet for Marcus Childress in this Huskies attack. No, he's done a good job, though, with the ball, protecting it. They've had actually good punting by Ferentz. The punter has done a good job pinning Miami deep inside the 20-yard line several times. But, you know, you really do have to get the ball out to your playmakers, and I expect Trey Harbison to touch it, touch it a few more times in this second half. Well, the Red Hawks will get the football first. Which is now 26. Wind starting to pick up, and that could certainly wreak havoc with the passing attack coming up in these final two quarters. Well, NIU, the MAC West champions, that was decided last night when Western Michigan was upset at Ball State. And on senior night, perhaps not that fire we expected to see on offense just yet. The Huskies, they punched their ticket to the MAC championship game. Six of eight seasons before this year. They're going to go back again. As a kick. Returned ahead to the 39-yard line in a nice return. Red Hawks will have good field position and a 3-0 lead. So if you're Miami, you're on the road, you're 4-2 and two in the league. What do you try to do here in these final two quarters to steal the win? Well, I think you have to be really careful with the ball because NIU's a ball hawking team and, and you just have to be methodical in your approach. And, you, you know, if you're not making mistakes and you're getting plus, kind of plus yardage on first down, I think that's a critical down so you don't get behind the chains and you got, you got to keep moving and, and pressing ahead. And hopefully you get a ball that bounces your way too off a turnover. Well, both of these teams have played difficult non-conference schedules this season to help shape them for league play. They really have, Roy. I, I think that's kind of a, a point that should really, you know, resonate with viewers. I, I think people like to see teams play good teams in their non-conference schedule, and both these teams have played, you know, power five teams, and I mean, hung right with them. I mean, listen, they're undermatched a little bit, or overmatched, I should say, you know, the other team. I mean, they're giving away weight. On the interior of the lines, they give away a little speed on the perimeter. But from an athletic point of view, I, I think the Mac is as strong as it's ever been. Raglan barrels his way ahead for a gain of a couple to bring up third down on the opening possession of our third quarter. Northern Illinois on the road beat BYU. You want to talk about a slugfest? That was seven to six in Provo. Yeah. Yeah, 7-6. How crazy is that? And BYU is, they, they have some big people up front in the trenches. Hey, what's interesting, too, is third down. Oh, delay of game, I believe. Delay of game, offense, five-yard penalty, third down. Well, that one's on the quarterback. Gus Raglan has... 25 second clocks in either corner of the end zone and he just flat out didn't see it and Roy what's interesting grabbing a cup of coffee at halftime you know there's there's a few pro scouts here tonight as, as I'm sure a lot of the Mac games but there's a lot of scouts walking around they're up in the warm press box they're not foolish they're braving the elements <laughs> no. Kenny Young checks in the backfield he's an outstanding receiver they'll hand it off to him and he goes nowhere Stopped at the line by Sutton Smith. Well, 
well. Sutton Smith's quickness off the edge again. Just no, no one quite has the answer how to block 15. And they, they double team him a lot on film I've seen. Again, he runs right by the right tackle, Tommy Doyle. And it, it's a tough assignment for Doyle. Listen, you know, he's given away some some pounds to the to the lighter Sutton Smith, but but Smith is just so darn quick. Now Kramer punts it away. It's Cole Tucker. Retrieves it inside to 20. That's a punt of 43 yards. NIU will take over now in the third quarter. Trying to rally from this 3 nothing deficit. You now Sutton Smith, what a career it's been. Led the country in sacks a year ago and certainly has NFL potential. I'm so interested in what you told us in the first half. I think you're the first person I've heard suggest that maybe he's a safety at the next level. He's certainly quick. I've seen some great, I've seen some great players that have played linebacker in college convert and become a strong safety. And, and I'll tell you who he reminds me of a little bit. It, it's kind of, it, it's, it's very, it's personal to me. Pat Tillman from ASU. I worked some of Pat Tillman's games, Roy, back in the day at Arizona State. Sutton Smith has, he's a quick, quick twitch guy. He's fast, he's powerful, and you know what, more than anything, he's relentless. That's a live football on what was called a backwards pass. Ryan McWood picks it up. And they're gonna say it's Miami football. And I believe that to be a lateral. I believe that's the right call by the officials. It's a bang bang play, but the side judge had it in his eyesight the whole time. The pass was backwards, recovered by the defense. First down, Miami. Well, it was interesting because there was a pump fake out in DJ Brown's direction initially, and then Childers went back his direction, sent the pass that way. And I'm with you, Tom. 100%. It looked like. The ruling on the field on the previous play is under further review. Well, now, from that angle, once they review it up in the box, they'll say that was a forward pass. However, from the high angle, it looked to be a lateral. So that'll just be an incomplete. That'll come back. And I think the confusing part was that Brown retreated about yeah. two yards to get it. Exactly. But he was still in front of the quarterback, and the pass drifted forward by about a yard. So yeah. I'm with you again. Well, and that should be overturned. Yeah, and uh, I think that one definitely. Tim O'Day, take a look at that. Converse with the replay booth upstairs. And, and you know, Roy, it's just it, it's fun to watch a guy like Sutton Smith going back to him for a moment. You know, he, he's such a spectacular player. His coaches rave about him. He came in as an offensive guy eh, for a couple days. But, you know, they needed him. He filled a, a role that he had to, to be on. Another look at that play. It's got to be indisputable video evidence. You see him standing at the 16 and the ball pops ahead to the 17. In my book, that's indisputable. Yeah, yeah. The fact he moved back to catch it and then you said, you know, he, he got pushed backwards another six, eight yards. Childers knows exactly where he threw it. He's like, what are you guys looking at? I can tell you where I threw it. Busy night for William Laud, our replay official, and Timothy O'Day down on the field. Big call in this game as well, considering Miami already leads 3-0, and NIU has really not found its rhythm on offense just yet. Chilly night wind is picked up here in our second half. Temperatures in the mid-20s. It feels like it's in the teens. Yeah. Cold in the southeast this week, too. You were a little chilled getting near 30 degrees down there in South Carolina. That's kind of cold. <laughs> it is cold, especially for November. Here's the call. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is being changed. The pass was forward. Therefore, the ball will be returned to the 23-yard line, where it will be third and seven. Clock operator, please reset the game clock to 11.57. 11.57, please. Thank you. If you're the Huskies now offensively, what do you do? Rod Carey's trying to push some kind of button here to get something to happen positive. I mean, certainly you don't need to panic with plenty of time left, but you, you got to try to find a spark. No, here's what I'm going to do. I, my, my punter's been so good. 
tonight I, and, and all year long. I have that in my back pocket. I keep it on the ground here, Roy. I don't make any, any, no silly plays, no turnovers. Childers across the middle into double coverage, trying to spot Dennis Robinson. Pass is incomplete. Raymond in coverage. There is a flag on the field near the 31. And about the last thing I do is throw it downfield into double coverage. Holding defense number six, 10 yard penalty. The penalty includes automatic first down. Travion Banks, the guilty party, and that'll keep the drive alive for NIU. Well, and, and you know, it's interesting. You, you run a guy like Dennis Robinson down the field, 6'5, 215 pounder out of Hollywood, Florida. Of course, the flag comes from a hold all the way across the field. Well, I don't know about that. I, I, I mean, did, did the receiver fall down? And they called the flag? Threw a flag? Okay. Play action on first down. Childers wants to go deep, and he will. There's a laser shot, and it's brought in by Spencer Tears. Gain of 37 yards, and there's that spark after the penalty. Well, Tears is their one-on-one -on -one go deep guy. Spencer Tears, young man out of Chicago, redshirt junior. He just has a couple steps on his man. He goes up aggressively for the ball, makes a nice catch. Childers again will take off. He spins across the 30. That's a gain of a yard. Moratti with the stop. Well, you got to give this Red Hawk defense some credit. I mean, they're playing without their best defensive player, top tackler, Brad Koenig. He tried to give it a go in the first half and just couldn't do it. Marcus Jones with a burst of speed to the end zone for the touchdown. He may have injured himself on the play. That run from 29 yards out. The first score reaching pay dirt of the night, and Jones is going to hobble off the field. Well, Marcus Jones does a great job. And, and there's a little a little zone to the edge and then I, I, I think he has a hamstring issue right at the end you just see him get locked up and the Marcus Jones had a nice touchdown run a week ago 103 yards on the ground versus Toledo and that's a nice finishing run right there for the Huskies and NIU now with seven on the board not on the field for me. Make it a little more interesting now. Huskies go up 7-3. This year, give the gift they've been dreaming of the magic of a Walt Disney World vacation. From the most wondrous experiences to the most special treasures, the gift of Walt Disney World makes dreams come true. Schedule a test drive today. There's plenty of space available. The Volkswagen Drive to Decide event. Get a Volkswagen with America's best six-year, 72,000-mile limited warranty. Get a $1,000 bonus on select 2019 Jetta and 2018 Tiguan and Atlas 2.0T models. Your digestive system has billions of bacteria, but life can throw them off balance. Realign yourself with Align Probiotic. And try new Align gummies with prebiotics and probiotics to help support digestive health. Visit. You remember it. It's good. 
Does it make the shortlist? You remember that too. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Knowing what's important to you. It's okay. This is what we've been planning for. Thanks. Bye. Bye. That's what's important to us. It's why 7 million investors work with Edward Jones. College football fans, ESPN is celebrating the 150th anniversary of college football, and we want you, the fans, to be part of it. If you have a great story, we want to hear it. Go to ESPN.com slash MyStory150 now for more info. NIU with its first lead of the night. Rod Carey doesn't look pleased, but he certainly feels better than what he did just moments ago at the break. Tom Ramsey, Roy Philpott. 11-01 remaining here in our third quarter. Chilly night, the heart of the MAC. Chilly night, fighting for the Mallory Cup. And uh, there's Bill Mallory, the great coach within the MAC conference, also at Indiana University and CU up in Boulder. Nice tribute to him tonight. Bester. A nice cut. Spun down, crossing the 25. Marcus Jones found a way to reach the end zone moments ago. Big play for NIU. Well, and, and Ty Harmston, the tight end, number 84. Watch him in the slot, Roy. He ends up making the key block. He seals off the backer. And you're going to see an alley get created. And all of a sudden, Marcus Jones has a runway. And he just hits it full throttle. Pulls up a little bit at the end, but Marcus Jones is their home run hitter for the Huskies and delivers right then. First time tonight, Miami has trailed. Quick toss out near the 40, a gain of 15 on first down as Defonte Hunt records the stop and an impressive throw and a nice catch by Sorensen. You, you know, I'm always one, I like a lot of points, but I gotta tell you, in a low scoring game, what I like about these two teams, they're both so well coached. And the strategy into play calling and into defensive play calling. And, you know, they're trying to get home. They're trying to rush four a lot. They, they stack the box a little bit. They want, you know, they told us, hey, you know, yeah, we're kind of, hey, we want to stop the run. Of course you want to stop the run. You want to make the, your opponent one-dimensional. And I, I just think it's a credit to both coaches how, how hard they work. They grind. You can tell both these guys, Chuck Martin, Rod Carey, they're grinders. And you and I had a great conversation yesterday. I said, you know, I know Dabo's grinding. You said, man, he grinds. I said, I know Nick Saban. No one grinds more than Nick Saban. And the great coaches grind, man. And they're great at what they do. Sorensen, another catch and another first down. And Miami driving. Yeah, these two guys, two grinders. Yeah. You appreciate that in this conference. These players, you look at Gus Ragland, nothing's been given to him going back to his high school career, the quarterback for the Red Hawks. No. Fifth no. year senior. No. Son of a coach. Now in plus territory, that's Sorensen in motion. Two by one set. Ragland wants to toss it again. Seam route. And Kenny Young was open. He leaped up, couldn't quite bring it in. Jalen Embry in coverage. That's one normally Kenny Young's going to catch. Well, if KY makes that play, th that, that is the highlight of the game thus far because he has to climb the ladder. The ball hangs in the air just a little high, just a little high, and it's a little late. Embry made a nice recovery back onto the ball, and Kenny Young, though, if he comes down with that one, that's, that's a big play. Ragland now 11 of 13 through the air. And a bruising run by Alonzo Smith. Had another first down. That's a gain of 11. Well, you said it earlier tonight, Roy. Alonzo Smith and Kenny Young, a great one-two punch. And Lonzo, Lonzo Smith now with... Yeah, the first down yards. pass incomplete. Trying to spot Andrew Homer. Evan Haney able to break it up. Sorry about that. He had 10 yards prior to that last run and 21 for the night. You'd think he has more. 
Ball comes out, Homer has it, and then it just gets jarred loose. Homer's a guy where last week in, in their game against Ohio, they sprung him down here in plus territory. He ended up running a corner route, and Raglan just threw a dime on him. They might get him out again. Play action. The pass will be ruled incomplete. Let's see. Well, they're going to say he caught it at the 25. That was Sorensen. Got a couple of elbows underneath it, at least according to this veteran officiating crew. And here comes the tempo. It's a great catch by Sorensen, without a doubt. Hand off to Smith. That'll net a yard. Yeah, no chance for a review either. I mean, they just hopped up and ran tempo. Interesting, though. Remember, remember Raglan's numbers down here in the plus territory in his career. Inside the plus territory, 50 to 1 touchdown to interceptions. 39 pass TDs, 11 rush TDs. He's only thrown one pick his whole career inside the plus 20. Smith straight ahead and belted short of the 20 by Pugh. Kyle Pugh's been active here in our third quarter. Oh, Miami, an impressive drive and a response after the first touchdown of the night by NIU. Well, and you got to wonder here, Roy, if, you know, Miami is thinking, and Chuck Martin is thinking, you know, is this four down territory? They haven't been great on third down tonight. Three of eight on third down coming into this play. And you know, I think if even if you use tempo on fourth down, you might you might consider going for it here on fourth if you get a good gain on third. They need six right here. Pocket collapses. Young dropped it. Well, a great play call with pressure coming, and Young couldn't corral it. Yeah, they know they know that NIU's they're rushing four, but they're coming hard. The defensive ends come really hard, so they just go screen over the top of Corcoran. Kenny Young just, if you were a golfer, that's having the yips. He just can't pull it down. And that'll bring the field goal unit on the field. So our second look at Samuel Sloman. Knocked one home from 30 yards out in our first half. This one from 39. Wind has died back down from dead center. And it's good. Miami pulls within a point. A couple of field goals on the board for the Red Hawks here on the road. Halfway through our third quarter. Seven to six home team in front. The college football playoff top 25 ranking show. Tuesday at 7 on ESPN. When I say drivers who switched from GEICO to insurance saved an average of $412, you probably won't believe me, but you can believe this. Real insurance employee Nancy Abraham. Look her up online. Insurance. It's surprisingly painless. And the award goes to Kendra. I gotta go. I gotta go. I just want to just. Oh my gosh. I want to thank my mom, my manager, my babysitter. Look, girl, mommy's on TV. Time to go to bed. Damn, your rudder is ready. And I like to thank my dog walker. Your rudder's ready. It feels like a big win thank when you. you get a deal like this. Introducing McDonald's new $6 classic meal deal. Choose one of four favorites, plus any size soft drink, small fries, and a pie. All for just $6. Sometimes a cough gets in the way of a good night's sleep. That's when he needs Vicks VapoRub, proven cough medicine, with eight hours of vapors, so he can sleep. Vicks VapoRub. Good night, coughs. I got a very, very small loan from my father. You've got to start somewhere. I'm a reporter from the New York Times. I'm aware of bank statements, tax returns, thousands of property records. 1995 showed that he was bleeding money. Go through it all, understand it all. Holy Number by number, brick by brick. That's when we realized that's fraud. I built this empire. I did it by myself. Kyrie, 
caution danger. Oh, don't try to guard me. Don't guard my break it echo. I said, ooh. Crossing danger. Crossing. I'll cross it over. Cross it and break your ankle. Raptors, Celtics at 7. Bulls, Bucks at 9.30. Friday on ESPN, presented by State Farm. Kyrie. Miami trails NIU 7-6. Chuck Martin, year number five, had some interesting things to say after his team's win against Ohio last week. Have a listen. How much of a relief is it uh, for this program to uh, finally beat OU? Great. It's a huge relief. Like, huge. Like, beating the, win the battle. Is there a trophy or anything? Like, I, was, I was waiting for the trophy to come storm. There's no trophy for the day. When we talk about this rivalry, we don't even have a trophy for it. I just assume there's a trophy. We haven't won it, you know, in 50 years. But how can it be such a rivalry? There's no even damn trophy. Like, I mean, I'll pitch in if they, I mean, it's a pretty big deal. And we, I'm like, where's the dang trophy? Like, Now the first win in five tries in the Battle of the Bricks. Chuck had something to say about it afterwards, Tom. We asked him about it, and I know a lot of people have asked him questions in the local media back in Ohio, and he downplayed it, and he basically said he was joking. But when you listen to that soundbite, and then you see his reaction, there was a little vitriol behind it. I would say old Chuck was was a little bitter about something, but his team, the ball, therefore by rule, the ball most importantly, secured the win. Uh, I thought it was kind of almost hilarious. Chuck Martin's <laughs> a funny guy. It's kind of like it's kind of like what Scott Frost told us last year, the UCF, you know, UConn game. They had the, you know, he's like, what trophy? Like, we're not playing for a trophy. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was one of the weirdest things in college football in this decade. Eh? Oh, SVP had a great he had, he had a great pitch on his late night on the late night sports center. It was like across the middle and incomplete. Wesley was breaking open. That could have been six. <laughs> he had video of the trophy sitting in the rain. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> around no one, it. No one, no one ever came to pick it up. <laughs> the supposed rivalry between UConn and UCF. And meanwhile, Juwan Wesley. Unable to reel this one in. You wonder, too, if the cold weather yeah. and a little bit of wind is playing a factor Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because that ball, that ball spot on. Nice throw by Childers. Dangerous toss here, and it's going to be picked off. Six points on the board for Miami. Jadon Rucker furlough from 25 yards out. The pick six for the Red Hawks. Well, when you talk about jumping a route, Jadon Rucker furlough jumps the route. Watch him. He settles in, and then all of a sudden, bam, he breaks on the ball. And great hands that time. Strong hands, interception, and, and just, I mean, without question, he races in the end zone. And Childers knew it right when he threw it. He saw the corner settle. But that's really a nice play by number 24, the corner, Rucker furlough. Freshman out of Dayton, Ohio, gives Miami the lead right back. And our new score with 7-21 remaining in the third, 13-7. First field. pick of the season for Jadon Rucker furlough. Almost baited him with that one. Monday Night Football, Chiefs Rams, Monday at 8.15 on ESPN. Let's be honest. Every insurance company tells you they can save you money. Save up to 10% when you bundle with eSurance. Including me, eSurance spokesperson Dennis Quaid. He's a pretty good spokesperson. Yeah. So when I say drivers who switched from Geico to eSurance saved an average of $412, you probably won't believe me. Hey, actor lady who's seen was cut. Hi. But you can believe this eSurance employee, Nancy Abraham. Seriously, send her an email and ask her yourself. No emails. No emails. When insurance is affordable, it's surprisingly painless. College football fans, ESPN is celebrating the 150th anniversary of college football, and we want you, the fans, to be part of it. If you have a great story, we want to hear it. Go to ESPN.com slash MyStory150 now for more info. Kyrie, 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 Friday on ESPN. We didn't dream up a new way to find the best ramen. We never thought, you know what Mars needs? A dune buggy. 
We didn't decide you should be able to share your home with travelers from around the world. We're not the ones who imagined one day we'd all be streaming movies or whatever she's about to do. But when asked if these ideas were possible, we're the only cloud with the capabilities, experience, and know-how to make them happen. AWS is how. At this station, you get Exxon and Mobile Rewards plus points with every purchase. Or you can go to that station and get no points. Which do you prefer? Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. The choice is clear. People love Exxon and Mobile Rewards Plus. Start earning today at ExxonMobileRewardsPlus.com. This is an ordinary hot dog, and this is a hot dog obtained using Exxon and Mobile Rewards Plus points. Which do you like better? This one. Confirmed. Exxon and Mobile Rewards Plus points taste better than ordinary hot dogs. Start earning today at ExxonMobileRewardsPlus.com. Our score after the interception moments ago by Jadon Rucker Furlow, the first of his young career. And you think back, too, to what could have been for NIU. Jawan Wesley dropped what could have been a sure touchdown the play before. Rucker Furlow steps in front of that pass from Childers on the very next play and takes it the other way. Yeah, sudden change happens all the time in, in college football. You know, Roy, you know, Jadon Rucker Furlow almost being, you know, a lot of young freshmen being forced into play for Chuck Martin's Red Hawks. And, because of all the injuries, and well, I tell you what, Coach Martin's got to be happy with that play right there by the freshman. So a brand new ball game, as we remind you, coming up on Saturday. First off at 3:30 Eastern, West Virginia, ninth-ranked Mountaineers travel down to Stillwater, face off with Oklahoma State in a Big 12 clash. Then at 8 Eastern, nine and one Cincinnati, undefeated UCF. And you can watch all those games on the ESPN app. Anywhere you go, Knights and Bearcats over on ABC. That's going to be a fun one. A lot of people wonder, can UCF reach the college football playoff this year? Schedule perhaps not strong enough, but and the resume is so impressive going back two seasons. And a nifty move here for NIU. Trey Harbison into plus territory, brought down by Baratti after a gain of 32. Well, there's Harbison, 32-yard gain inside zone. Nice run. and. You know, Roy, they use tempo. They're right back on the ball. It's a nice, nice vision that time by Harbison. Using tempo, Harbison off the right side again. He transferred in from Virginia, started his career in Charlottesville, then left the program when Mike London was fired. And the one thing we heard more often than not this week, that he's really embracing the fact that he's a bigger back and that they can use him between the tackles. You start to realize who you are, and he's a redshirt sophomore at his second program. Then you got a better understanding of what you can do, and he's certainly showing us that tonight. Pass incomplete, looking for Jordan Nettles. Yeah, that's that's an incomplete pass. The Red Hawks are saying it's their ball. It's an incompletion. But you know, Roy, going back to UCF just for a moment, I, I think. The ruling on the field is the pass was forward, therefore incomplete, third down. I, I think the best thing I heard, and I can't remember who said it. Uh, like a week ago, you know, m might they, might they break into the CFP? Eh, one of these days, they got to keep winning. They just have to keep doing their thing, and you know, eventually, you know, if you knock on the door loud enough, right, someone comes to answer. What's well, unfortunate because this year they were scheduled to play North Carolina. And that game was canceled due to a hurricane. Not that that would have mattered that much, as bad as the Tar Heels have been. A year ago, they had a game against Georgia Tech that was washed out as well. So the intention has been there to schedule more difficult contests. Third down, Childers will send this one deep and incomplete. Tucker, the intended target. Brown, check that. That was DJ Brown, the wide receiver, covered by Mike Brown. So the intention was there to enhance the scheduling. It yeah. has not happened, but that is going to be what it's going to take to get UCF or a team from the group of five in the playoff to play a team from the Power Five, beat that team, and that Power Five team has to be pretty good. Well, I mean, look at the resume from a year ago, right? They end up beating Auburn handedly uh, in, in a bowl game, and Auburn was, you know, the only team to knock off Alabama. And a nice job by the NIU special teams, a punt of 40 yards. Justin Hall was able to bat it down right at the one-yard line. 
There is a penalty flag on the field as well. And it's all about the ball crossing the plane. Yeah, unlike the NFL, you couldn't do that in the NFL. The punt team, you're standing on the line. An illegal motion call, apparently going against NIU. And the Red Hawks, no doubt, will want to get them to punt this one one more time. Boy, Matt Ferentz, number 36. Man, he's illegal done a good shift. job. Number 21 of the kicking team was moving at the time of the snap. The five-yard penalty would be applied at the previous spot. Fourth down. So Matt Ferentz, what he has to do, Roy, he has to dial back his punt about five yards and here's a guy who I was watching him in warm-ups he he's meticulous in his warm-ups he has little cones he sets up for his steps he practices those corner kicks he drives the ball high and it's, a, it's just a good feel for where his punt coverage team is going to be and really an exceptional punter Penalty win against Marcus Jones, who scored the first touchdown of the night moments ago. Two flags on the field again near midfield. And as I was singing his praises, he shanks one. Punt covered 28 yards. Here's the penalty. Holding. Kicking team number 53. The 10-yard penalty would be applied to the end of the kick. First down. Now Rod Carey, he's John, the line judge again. Remember, he got a personal foul in the first half. If he had a gets a second personal foul, he will be ejected. I'm sure he's well aware of that. Eric Abril, the long snapper, called for the infraction. So instead of first and 10 from inside the one, Miami's going to get the football with much better field position near its own 30-yard line. Love that guy's intensity. Let's see if you can see the hold here on the interior. 53, well, he's, he's, he's wrestling with uh, Costin. Yeah, well, Doug Costin. Their nose tackle, one of their top tacklers on their team. I don't blame it. <laughs> A run by Smith. We stopped for no gain. Weston Kramer was ready and waiting. Miami, 13 to 7 advantage. We're already seeing one upset tonight as Ohio's been handling Buffalo. A chance for the Bulls to clinch the Mac East. That has not happened. Northern Illinois clinched the Mac West last night when Western Michigan. Was upset at Ball State. Raglan will take off, directing traffic. And floats one, it'll be caught. Dominique Robinson makes the grab. He was spun around into NIU territory. There's a flag on the field near the 34. What? Tom, that's a gain of 38. What great pocket awareness, again, by Gus Raglan. And then able to float a ball up over the defender. I think they're going to call P.I. on the play against Robinson. He just happened to make a great play. Watch Raglan. The timer goes off in his head. They rush four. There lofts the ball. There are fouls on the play. An overall man downfield. Offense number 75. Pass interference. Defense number 49. The foul's offset. Replay second down. Jarrett LaRubio, the right guard, a junior out of Middletown, Ohio. Jalen McKee, the cornerback, will do it all over again. Well, if you're a Red Hawk fan, you got to get that helmet for sure. I like LaRubio. He's a nice-looking player. Right guard. Next to his fellow center, Godlewski. They, uh, he and Godlewski really do a nice job on that right side. Well, you can see right there, though, why Raglan is so good. Power formation on second down and 10. He was directing traffic. He bought some time, was patient, delivered a strike. This one will be caught 
Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage, Antonio Jones Davis. Re Raglan's one of those guys, Roy. If you and I were picking teams, you, if I had the first pick, I'd pick Raglan. And if you had the first pick, you'd pick Raglan. He's that guy. He just, you, you know, he's scrappy, he's tenacious. He just is the ultimate competitor. And, and that's what Chuck Martin loved about him when he saw him in high school. He just said, man, this guy just wills his team to victory. And back to back state titles at Moeller. That would get you to be a Red Hawk there. Miami needs 11. Pocket for Raglan across the middle. And nearly picked off in and out of the midst of Luke Mayock. Adam Burge delivered the forearm shimmy. I thought Mayock drifted upfield just a shade on Raglan. And, and if Mayock, when he comes out of the break, if he just bends it back to the quarterback, I mean, just a half a yard, he probably makes the catch. He drifts about a half yard upfield, and the defenders are able to close on the ball and punch it incomplete. Kramer back on the field to punt this one away. And a fair catch called for by Cole Tucker. Punt of 42 yards. Forget about Monday Night Football from the Coliseum in Los Angeles. The 8-1 Chiefs against the 8-1 Rams. 8-15 Eastern on ESPN and ESPN Deportes. Also, the ESPN app coverage begins with Monday Night Countdown at 6 o'clock about St. Patrick Mahomes and Todd Gurley, two of the best in the business. And of course, a connection to this game here tonight, Sean McVay, the head coach of the Rams. There sure is. There's Shawnee McVay. How about Red that Hawks, picture? baby. How about it? 312 career yards receiving. Go get him, coach. Youngest coach in the history of the National Football League is Harbison is bottled up. Boy, the flag on the field as well. Roy, the Rams. I watched them when they came to Denver a few weeks ago. Kevin Demoff, Team Prez, Sean McVay. Holding. Offense number 64. 10 yard penalty. First down. T Todd Gurley making an MVP run. Jared Goff just playing lights out. Brandon Cooks. I, I mean, they have, and they have a defense. They're fun to watch. Oh. Fun to watch. Brain Hunt, of course, played in Toledo here in the back. Todd Gurley from Georgia. Their numbers this year, extremely impressive. And the Chiefs with Andy Reid and Mahomes just finding ways, creative ways, to put points on the board. Tyreek Hill, and the speedster, phenomenal season he's had as well. D.J. Brown on the tunnel screen goes nowhere. He's going to lose to. Baratti got there again. The Rams are fun to watch. You know, it feels yeah. like the Chiefs and the Rams, it's kind of what the NFL's been building for in recent years with some of the rule changes and the high-octane offenses that have been put into play. So many great young quarterbacks in the league. It's just a showcase event for this Monday Night Football contest. Play action on second down. Backside pressure. Childers is going to be sacked. Deion Lemon got there, brought him down. Back at the 15. Nice play by Lemon coming off the edge. And, it, you know, the, the Rams, I, I think you're right on, Roy. You, you know, they run a little RPO with Jared Goff. They they utilize jet sweep and jet sweep motion. And then they run plays off it. I, I mean, it's a fantastic offense. And then the defense, Wade Phillips, I mean, the, the master of the match defense. It was Dean Lemon with the sack. Third down and 25. Childers takes off, and NIU is going to be bottled up once again on another possession. Ratty McWood made sure that Childers would go nowhere. And how about this Red Hawk defense? Yeah. I don't know that we've talked enough about what Miami has done on that side of the football tonight, and that's with Brad Caning. Kading missing most of this contest. Yeah, he's missed. He's missed quite a bit of it. He was in for the first couple series for the Red Hawks. And, uh, you know, credit Chuck Martin, man. He's been dialing it up all night. Little zone blitz. He probably went in the locker room and played that clip asking for a trophy. 
And after the battle, the Bricks victory. That pumped everybody out. 225 remaining here in the third, back at 60. Did you know with Vanishing Deductible, you can earn $100 off your deductible for every year of safe driving? Sing that. Vanishing Deductible. You can earn $100, earn $100 off, off your deductible, deductible for every year of safe for driving. Every, for every, every year of safe driving. What, what, do you, what key are you at? E. No, 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 G. G will be too high. Not for me. Vanishing deductible. Oh, oh gosh, sweet, sweet. Did you know half of all guys will experience erectile dysfunction? That's right, half of you but only 25% get treated, which means the rest of you may want to pay attention. With Roman, you can get ED meds prescribed online delivered right to your door. Just visit GetRoman.com, chat with a U.S. licensed physician, and you'll get FDA-approved medication delivered in discreet packaging. Roman, let's take care of it. Get your first month free at GetRoman.com slash TV. Don't forget, you can stream college football all season long on ESPN Plus. So start your free trial today by downloading the ESPN app or by visiting ESPNplus.com. ESPN Plus. Do it today. Back into Cal, Illinois. It is chilly for a Wednesday night in action. And Miami with an opportunity to steal a road win. And have a chance to perhaps force a three way tie in the Mac East, in case you missed it, over on ESPN2 earlier tonight, Ohio destroyed Buffalo 52-17. to And so the Bulls, a chance to clinch the Mac East Division Championship this evening. That did not happen. And Ohio and Miami. Yeah, it does make it pretty interesting in the East standings for sure. Buffalo, of course, playing Bowling Green next week. Bowling Green struggling pretty much all year long. Second down and seven for Gus Raglan, the fifth-year senior out of Cincinnati. And fires a pass to Kenny Young that is caught. That's good enough to move the chains. A first down into NIU territory and a gain of eight. Well, and I think... Burge got away with one there. He kind of ran Kenny Young into the sidelines about five yards deep. It's a nice throw by Ragland. Ball came out quick. Nice gain. Moving the chains. And, and Roy, the clock keeps ticking in Miami's favor. It's a Red Hawk offense. It's averaged over 30 points per game in their last seven contests. Held in check for the most part tonight, but with the lead, courtesy of pick six. Ragman flings that one out of bounds. Homer, the intended target, the tight end. Traquan Smith in coverage. Miami's been impressive. I think I want to say this has been surprising. All four of their wins coming in the MAC this year, but Chuck Martin, he's got to be pleased with his club. Yeah, I think Eric Kaler, the offensive coordinator, has done a nice job dialing up plays and trying to neutralize Sutton Smith at defensive end. Because what NIU does, they're, they're pretty set in their ways. They're a four-man front and two linebackers, and then that, that last linebacker is more or less a nickel guy coming off the edge now. That pass was almost picked off on two separate occasions. Jalen McKee. Saw the end zone about 65 yards away. Couldn't quite corral it. And Lance Devereaux, the nickelback, came that time from distance into the backfield, leaving the outside receivers one-on-one. -on -one. And as you said, that's almost a pick six. Third down, how aggressive are you if you're the Red Hawks here? Uh, they've been aggressive all night. I think you stay aggressive. And they will backside pressure ball is out. And recovered by Miami. Corcoran got there in a hurry. The ruling on the field is fumble recovered by the offense. And that was close. Fourth down. Uh, Corcoran gets 
Man on man on the backside. Jordan Rigg, left tackle, has to deal with number 12. And boy, I tell you what, number 12 comes hard too. Actually, it was the tight end. It was Nate Becker who was assigned to block Corcoran. And again, you know, you play opposite a great player, you're going to get a lot of single, uh, single chances. Huskies have been phenomenal at blocking kicks, 11 in the last two seasons. Sut Smith, a big punt block a week ago. And win against Toledo. Cole Tucker with a fair catch of the 15. So in the final play of the third quarter, a 39-yard punt. Miami on the road with the lead for our final 15 minutes. Volkswagen Atlas. Seat seven, sleep six. Life's as big as you make it. Let's be honest. Every insurance company tells you they can save you money. Save up to 10% when you bundle with insurance. Including me, insurance spokesperson Dennis Quaid. He's a pretty good spokesperson. Yeah. So when I say drivers who switch from Geico to insurance saved an average of $412, you probably won't believe me. Hey, actor lady whose scene was cut. Hi. But you can believe this insurance employee, Nancy Abraham. Seriously, send her an email and ask her yourself. No emails. No emails. When insurance is affordable, it's surprisingly painless. It's not what champions do, it's what champions don't do. They don't back down, they don't settle, and they don't quit. Except for Cable. Cable. Yeah, you quit Cable. Because we are Cougars, and we don't quit. Unless what? Unless it's Cable! Quit Cable and switch to DirecTV and get the most live sports in 4K. More for your thing. That's our thing. 1-800-DIRECTV. Jordan's asked, when it comes to managing your type 2 diabetes, what matters to you? Step up to the stage here. Feeling good about that? Let's see. Most of you say lower A1C, but only a few of you are thinking about your heart. Fact is, even though it helps to manage A1C, type 2 diabetes still increases your risk of a fatal heart attack or stroke. Jordan's is the only type 2 diabetes pill we have a life-saving cardiovascular benefit for adults who have type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Jordian significantly reduces the risk of dying from a cardiovascular event and lowers A1C with diet and exercise. Let's give it another try. Jardians can cause serious side effects, including dehydration. This may cause you to feel dizzy, faint, or lightheaded, or weak upon standing. Ketoacidosis is a serious side effect that may be fatal. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, stomach pain, tiredness, and trouble breathing. Stop taking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of ketoacidosis or an allergic reaction. Symptoms of an allergic reaction include rash, swelling, and difficulty breathing or swallowing. Do not take Jardians if you are on dialysis or have severe kidney problems. Other side effects are sudden kidney problems, genital yeast infections, increased bad cholesterol, and urinary tract infections, which may be serious. Taking Jardians with a sulfonuria or insulin may cause low blood sugar. Tell your doctor about all the medicines you take and if you have any medical conditions. So, what do you think? Well, I'm definitely thinking differently than I was yesterday. Ask your doctor about Jardians and get to the heart of what matters. UCF looks to extend their streak on Saturday night. And this season for every field goal, an extra point made by participating universities. Allstate will make a contribution to the university's general scholarship fund. Thank you, Allstate. On a chilly night in DeKalb, Tom Ramsey, Roy Philpock, great to have you with us. Start of our fourth quarter, 13-7. Miami on the road, trying to snap NIU's six-game winning streak. And the Huskies with their longest win streak since 2015. NIU football, second down, and eight upcoming for Marcus Childers and this NIU offense. And it's now or never for Rod Carey's bunch. Well, and I think the Red Hawk defense has been playing great. Ryan McWood stepping in for Brad Koenig. Ryan McWood has been busy tonight from that middle linebacker position. Play action. Childers flings it across the middle. 
Another drop, Spencer Tears that time. We've seen Jawan Wesley drop what should have been about a 65-yard touchdown in the third quarter. Tears, this pass a little bit behind him. Couldn't quite reel that one in. Temperatures in the low 20s well, here in our fourth. Talk, talking about McWood, you, you know, Koenig came in with 90 total tackles on the season, and McWood had five coming into tonight. He's got six tonight. Childers nearly sacked, stays alive. Sails that pass out of bounds. Well, Childers had good numbers in the first half, Roy. He was he was 10 of 12, 92 yards since that time. Two of eight. So on the night, 12 of 20. They've fallen off on third downs, only two of eight tonight on third down. Well, we've seen a couple of drops. Wind has picked up. Temperatures have dropped. Ference will send it to Sorensen. The fair catch after a 42-yard punt. So Miami gets the football back early stages of the fourth quarter with a six-point lead. Really been a field position game, too. Don't forget about week 11, NFL Sunday countdown. ESPN at 10 a.m. Eastern. Sam and the guys will have all the early breaking stories, previews of each and every game right up to kickoff, and like everything else, it's live on the ESPN app, so you can watch it anywhere. Sunday NFL Countdown. The time is now. We'll take a look at the All-Mac Fantasy team. A lot of big-time names on that list is Young. <laughs> is chopped down at the 40 by Jalen Embry. Wait, go back. That was a great list. That who are you, you going to pick? Uh, who, are you, who are you picking first there, Phil Pot? Well, Kareem Hunt, I mean, just by sheer production this yeah. year would be number one. But Antonio Brown, you know. Antonio Brown's a pretty good pick. Yep. The old, uh, the old Central Michigan. We saw Chippewas in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl last year against Wyoming. They have fallen on hard times this year with just one win. Raglan slings it out of bounds. Looking for Sorensen. He'll bring up third down. And Roethlisberger. Boy, what a star he was back in the day with the Red Hawks. 2001 to 03. Pass for a boatload of yards. Drafted in the first round by the Steelers with the 11th overall pick in 04. And just an absolute beast. I mean, you know what's amazing about Ben Roethlisberger to this day? The ability to extend the play, just phenomenal. And, and defenses don't have answers because you just can't, you just can't stay in coverage that long. Raglan in trouble, buys some time. And now we'll tuck it and pick up about two on third and long. So the punt team will be back on the field for the Red Hawks. And a three and out force by the NIU defense. Yeah, and I think Chuck Martin was upset that time. You know, they had the ball in pretty good field position, Roy. They had it, you know, on their 42-yard line. And Raglan just does a great job eluding Sutton Smith. And, again, trying to make something happen, unable to. But now it becomes a field position game where your punter kicks it back to them, and hopefully they get good coverage. Again, NIU with three blocked punts on the year. Kramer's punt caught at the 15. So NIU will have to go 85 yards to regain the lead. More than 12 minutes to work with. Our craftsmen begin each day perfectly seasoning our Hillshire Farm smoked sausage. So by simply adding the right ingredients, you can end each day crafting a perfectly delicious dinner. the gift they've been dreaming of. The magic of a Walt Disney World vacation. From the most wondrous experiences 
to the most special treasures. The gift of Walt Disney World makes dreams come true. At the Joseph A. Bank Black Friday sale, save up to 70% on almost everything in store. All traveler suits, $249. All traveler dress shirts, two for $79. Plus buy one, get one free store wide. From stitch to store, that's the bank way. Roman. For the first time ever, you can get ED meds prescribed online, shipped discreetly to your door. No more waiting rooms, awkward talks, or lines at the pharmacy. Get your first month free at GetRoman.com slash TV. Prenderò 10 biscotti e 12 bomboloni. I just got my ancestry DNA results. 74% Italian. And I found out that I'm from the big toe of that sexy Italian boot. Calabria. It even shows the migration path from South Italia all the way to Exotico, New Jersey. So this holiday season, it's ancestry DNA per tutti. Order your kit now at ancestry.com. Life's more than a race to the finish. It's the power to choose what you do and a trainer for where you go. Welcome to Thailand. Ready to get started? It's having a friend as a partner with a plan built specifically for you. It's someone there for every weight, lift, and crunch. Nice work, you guys. It's motivation, inspiring you mentally and physically, showing you new Not things, easy. and taking you to new places. Because with your Let's trainers, fitness is an adventure. I'll see you again tomorrow for another amazing workout. The X22i from Nordic Track. Your life, your trainers. 13 to 7, our score. Miami out in front of NIU. NIU has clinched the MAC West Championship. Miami still has a chance, believe it or not to clinch the East with a win tonight and a victory in their final game against Ball State. Miami potentially could force a three-way tie at six and two in league play at the top of the MAC East, and it's a tiebreaker that goes really deep, but basically what has to happen, Buffalo would have to be upset by Bowling Green, and that's certainly not likely, but the Bulls would have to lose to Bowling Green. Miami has to win out. All three teams are at six and two in the league. Goes down to a couple of tiebreakers. They go and check out the fourth place team, Akron. All three teams would have beaten Akron. Then to the fifth place team, Kent State. All three would have beaten Kent State. Bowling Green would be the tiebreaker because Buffalo conceivably would have lost to Bowling Green. Again, that's a that would be a big upset. And that would be the deciding factor that would put Miami in the MAC championship game. So the Red Hawks still with a lot to play for, not to mention still a chance to go to a bowl game. Third down and eight upcoming now for Northern Illinois. Still fighting. You gotta like it. Did you catch all that? There'll be yeah. a quiz later. Well, it, was a, it was a good explanation. I was with you for most of it. <laughs> Huskies need a first down. Less than 12 to play. Childers sends a pass looking for Dennis Robinson. And incomplete. Weatherford and Koi Koi in coverage. So Rod Carey back to the drawing board trying to find a way to spark this offense or maybe a defensive score is in order to try to get NIU the lead back. Well, they, they have not converted a third down in the entire second half, Roy. They are now two for 10. 0 for 4 in the second half. And the offense has been held in check. Barron's has been a weapon. Special teams. So punt this one out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Punt of 41 yards. Miami football after this timeout. Timeout on the field for media. Every TV doctor knows nothing's more important than a good bedside manner. I don't know how to say this. It's okay, Doc. Give it to me straight. No, you don't understand. I don't know how to say this. I'm just a TV doctor. They also know you should get your annual checkup. It could save your life. Schedule a checkup with your doctor. Know your four health numbers and start taking control of your health today. Cigna. Together. All the way. Your digestive system has billions of bacteria, but life can throw them off balance. Realign yourself with Align Probiotic. And try new Align gummies with prebiotics and probiotics to help support digestive health. 
right now, all fries at Wendy's are just $1. That's a huge deal on any size of Wendy's natural cut sea salted goodness. But a deal this good won't last long. So get your dollar fries at Wendy's before they're gone. Pushing down the Huskies, 13 to seven. So far, Tom Ramsey, Roy Philpott, little Wednesday night action to get your college football weekend started. A couple of miscues in this one, especially on the NIU side. Some key drops by Jawan Wesley. There's a turnover and also a targeting penalty that sent McKelty Williams off the field. But really the biggest play in this one, Tom Ramsey, the pick six. And what a play was made by the Red Hawks defense. Jadon Rucker furlough, first career interception in his young career. Well, that, that definitely was a game changer there. Rucker furloughs play, and then of course, that fumble by the tight end. Carmson turns into three points for uh, the Red Hawks as well. Kenny Young will pick up four on first down. Jordan Cole made the stop. Rucker furlough. Well, he's got the hair going, doesn't he? You like the blonde Which and black combination? <laughs> you don't see Which that side? often. Well, the blonde is Rucker and the black is Furlow. Your silence is deafening <laughs> on second down. Inside give for a short game. Sutton Smith, another stop. Here's what's interesting to me. You, you know, you talk about bowl eligible Huskies. They've been bowl eligible 10 of the last 11 years. The only other team in the group of five to do to do such, that feat, do you know? Boise State, the only other team in the group of five. 10 of the last 11 years going to a bowl game. Red Hawks 3 of 12 on third down tonight. They need six yards here to keep this drive alive. Huskies with four-man pressure. And the handoff. The NIU territory will make it fourth down and short. So we'll see if Chuck Martin wants to roll the dice. Jones Davis, Sutton Smith combined to make the stop. Well, everything's going to tell you to punt it away, and I'm sure they'll do just that. But, Roy, they, they did a great job at the point that time. Nate Becker had a nice block on Sutton Smith. Down blocked it, but they... They filled nicely behind Smith and made a nice play to stop that Red Hawk offense again, having good field position. So another three and out yep. force by the Huskies defense. And the outcome of this one far from decided on a chilly night into Cal. Cal Kramer's punt. They wobble its way to Cole Tucker. Fair catch made inside the 15, a punt of 37 yards, 9.30 remaining. Yeah, neither team given an inch, really. Just kind of they traded. I mean, field position-wise, Miami gained a yard on that last, you know, change of uh, change of possessions. Big 12 matchup, 3.30 Eastern on Saturday. Will Greer, ninth-ranked West Virginia, tangling with Oklahoma State. Saturday night football at 8 Eastern on ABC. Cincinnati and UCF, a top 25 clash in the American. Both games also on the ESPN app. CNIU takes over. First down carry by Harbison. Will net five. Yeah, Harbison over 81 yards on the night. 7.4 average. He came into the game averaging five and a half carries. Second best in the back. Scamper upfield here, close to a first down. And they'll give him the spot. So Trey Harbison now. Look at the Huskies, that initial first down, something it feels like NIU hasn't done a lot of in this second half. No, they really haven't. They, they, they've been stymied a little bit on offense and just haven't gotten the rhythm. Childers was good in the first half, saw it well, made quick decisions. Second half, it's been the Red Hawk defense. And I use one seven of the last eight meetings between these two teams. 
An important number to note as well. The Huskies on the verge of reaching 200 yards on the ground. And Tom, you brought this stat up to us this week. NIU 10-0 in rushing for 200 plus yards in its last 10 contests. So that magical number almost being reached and yet the Huskies trail by six here this evening. That's a big number. I mean, that's a big number, but when you get over that 200 yard plateau, you know, really you're controlling the clock and you're controlling the line of scrimmage, more importantly. Just the, Miami's done a great job just run fitting tonight against this NIU offense. And you, you know, they've subbed a lot. They've a lot of personnel groups in and out. And you know, they've gone nickel when they've needed to. And they got a good read on the uh, Husky offense tonight. Two of 10 on third down. Childers incomplete and another drop. Well, we've seen a couple from Jawan Wesley. That was DJ Brown. It'll bring up fourth down and an injured player for the Red Hawks as well. Time out in the field for a Miami injury. This will also be a media timeout. 7-18 remaining injury timeout as we step aside. looks to extend their streak on Saturday night. Let's be honest. Every insurance company tells you they can save you money. Save up to 10% when you bundle with eSurance. Including me, eSurance spokesperson Dennis Quaid. He's a pretty good spokesperson. Yeah. So when I say drivers who switched from Geico to eSurance saved an average of $412, you probably won't believe me. Hey, actor lady who's seen was cut. Hi. But you can believe this eSurance employee, Nancy Abraham. Seriously, send her an email and ask her yourself. No emails. No emails. When insurance is affordable, it's surprisingly painless. It's not what champions do. It's what champions don't do. They don't back down. They don't settle. And they don't quit. Except for cable. Cable. Yeah, you quit cable. Because we are cougars. And we don't quit. Unless what? Unless it's cable! Quit cable and switch to DirecTV and get the most live sports in 4K. More for your thing. That's our thing. 1-800-DIRECTV. Anybody that tells you that they don't want a full head of hair is lying. It was like really thinning out on the top. I was like, here we go. <laughs> Once hymns came along, I realized that doesn't have to happen to me. It's an easy, fast, and inexpensive way to keep hair. It was really comforting to have a doctor make me feel really confident that this was a product I should be using. What you get from hymns is definitely worth the price. I'm no longer... Huskies have won six games in a row, but that streak in jeopardy at home on senior night with Tom Ramsey, Roy Philpot. Low scoring defensive slugfest tonight for a Wednesday night match. And the Huskies gonna have to punt this one away after another possession. And it's deep in their own territory. Matt Ference for the fifth time this quarter. We'll punt this one this time to the 42 and a punt of just 31 yards. So the wind starting to pick up even more. And Miami still just a six-point lead, but it feels like it, it's a lot more. Well, it, you know, it's interesting. The last three drives, they've gotten the ball at the 42, the 43, and the 42. And so now you'd expect them. So they're just kind of trading punches. Yeah, I mean, they, this is good field position. They're not backed up in their own end. They've been doing a good job punting NIU down deep. Raglan steps up and slings it out of bounds. I, I like the fact they come out throwing, though, Roy. I, I think, you know, Raglan, and we thought he might have a lot of throws tonight. 14 to 22, 107 before that throw. And, you know, second half, they've been, uh, you know, not overly conservative. It just, it has, the temperature's dropped a little bit. I think guys have struggled to catch the ball tonight. Kenny Young's dropped a couple. A couple NIU receivers have dropped several balls. As a quarterback, is it more difficult to throw it in cold weather? Is that that big of a deal? No, it's the wind. The wind, the wind, and, and it's, the wind has kind of ebbed and flowed tonight. 
Opening for Smith, who makes a cut and powers his way ahead to midfield. That, Pugh brought him down. That's a gain of eight. That's good running by Smith there. That That is just getting north and south, getting a good gain. And and really, Kyle Pugh, you know, he, he makes a good tackle, but it's eight yards down the field. At least it sets them up for a very manageable third down. And this is where, if you're Miami, 3-13 and 13 on the night on third down, if you get this to move the chains, now you really start using the clock in your favor. Power formation, no wide receivers on the field. Smith needed two, and I don't think he got there. Kyle Pugh met him right at the line of scrimmage. Tom, I believe he's going to be about a yard short. I believe you're right, partner. And, you know, once again, they throw that heavy formation. I liked how they jumped to their formation with a tight end over. They were heavy to the right side, and then they tried to run inside zone and just get stuffed. Nine tackles tonight for Kyle Pugh. Punt team on the field for Miami. Kyle Kramer's been very busy. Another fair catch by Cole Tucker. So the punt parade continues. 5.31 remaining in the fourth quarter. <laughs> the punt parade. There you go. They've had a few. What's it going to take? Northern Illinois, six-game winning streak. Miami has not won here in DeKalb since way back in 1998. Red Hawks think that they still have a chance to win the division, and they do, courtesy of Ohio's upset of Buffalo earlier tonight. What's it going to take for NIU to put one in the end zone? Oh, the deep out pass, I believe, was caught. Wesley tumbling out of bounds, found a way to get a couple of hands on it. That's a first down. Yes, yeah, great ca catch, Juwan Wesley. Look at that catch. Over his head, falling out of bounds. Wesley answered my question. Two flags on the field after a gain of 18 as Harbison is brought down quickly. And this one coming back. I believe it's on the interior against uh, Doug Cost in the nose tackle. Got held up. Holding offense number 84. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Ty Harmson, the tight end, with the infraction. You have Harmston on the left side of the screen. Oh, he ends up throwing his left arm and hooking Miles Reed. And anytime that left arm swings around the, the side judge is automatically it's an easy call for him spot on at the end throwing on the end guy got the end line of scrimmage nine penalties tonight against the huskies approaching five minutes to play and a quick toss spencer tears had it knocked out of his hands. Alan Koikoi, number four, making a nice play. And right on the receiver, as soon as the ball gets there, he drives the man out of bounds. And Koikoi on the last third down, he came on a corner blitz. I thought he flushed Marcus Childers out of the pocket. Keep an eye on Koikoi. On second down and long, Harbison near side. Pushed out by Cal Cagno. Third down coming up again. It sounds like a broken record here in the fourth quarter. NIU just two of 11 on third down tonight, but time running out. And the Huskies punched their ticket to the MAC championship game last night when Western Michigan lost at Ball State. Need something here. Tears. He marked out about a yard short 
the line he needed to gain. Do you go for it? Still got all three timeouts, four plus minutes to work with. I, I'm amazed. Koi Koi, I, I mean, he drove his man out of bounds. I think it's a little dicey here to go for on fourth. Childers straight ahead, and I believe he got there. He did. Now that riverboat gambler, Rod Carey, finds a way to keep the drive alive. Well, it, it's a quick decision. They went for it right away. No hesitation in going for it. But, boy, if they don't get it there, man, that, that, is, a, that is a big move by Coach Carey. From the 41. Give inside, crossing the 45, as Harbinson's brought down by Ryan McWood. Keep in mind, Miami doing this without the services of leading tackler Brad Koenig. That yeah, goes back to what Coach Carey told us this week. He said, hey, the game's won and lost in the trenches. I mean, that right there, with no hesitation to go for it and use your quarterback. As the runner, again, Childers running the ball. Wood, another stop, third down and short, upcoming. Trey Harbison now over 100 yards on the ground on just 16 carries. And NIU at 212 yards tonight, rushing the football. You got to think this is four down territory once again, approaching three to play. Childers wants to throw it, and he will. Late release, passes broken up. Brown, the intended receiver. Over the back was Josh Allen. No flag on the field, so let's do fourth down once again. Now yeah, Josh Allen got away with one there. He, you know, he got the ball. I tell you what, that's a great play. A nice by play, him. yeah. yeah. I punt it away here, but I guess he's looking at the clock going, you know, we might not get it back. This is our last chance. And some trickeration. Wesley slings it deep and incomplete. Tears. Got a fingertip or two on it. A little razzle-dazzle fizzles. The chilly weather. Well, here's the play. They try to get the ball back to Marcus Childers, who gets covered. The ball, the first choice is Childers, and Wesley goes to his second choice, which is the streaking Spencer Tears down the middle of the field. That's good coaching right there. Yeah. You know, if Tears takes it a little more up the seam, right towards the goal post, the, the throw's online, and it's probably a completion. From midfield, the Red Hawks take over. 2.55 remaining. NIU with all three timeouts left. Still an opportunity. But Miami's got to like its positioning right here. Lonzo Smith brought down at the 49 by DeVoe. Boy, the other guy chasing the ball again. Sutton Smith from the backside coming across the formation. Charge timeout, Northern Illinois. Their first of the half. This will also be a media timeout. 2.47 remaining. Timeout on the field. So we want to make sure you're covered properly. Okay, State Farm, let's just say hypothetically that someone used Aaron's bathroom and that person lit a candle and the candle accidentally lit a towel on fire and the towel charred the wall. What would that... Weren't you just in the bathroom? I've never been in a bathroom. Not once. How does that work? Well, I meditate and I make it go away. It smells like you burned some. We should definitely investigate it. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Coating will treat your stomach right. Upset stomach Try Pepto with Ultra Coating.
Hops are like grapes, special transforms them into those. Join more than 250,000 satisfied grinners for only 80 bucks a month at smiledirectclub.com. Coming up later tonight, Sports Center after the NBA on ESPN. Tim Legler will break down Jimmy Butler's debut in Philly, plus Zion and Duke's fab freshman back on the court in Cameron. And an inside look at the Chiefs and Rams high powered offenses. Sports Center after the NBA on ESPN and the ESPN app. Out of the timeout, Red Hawks on second down. Smith powers his way ahead for a gain of a yard. Adam Burge. Led the charge. First Miami still. Northern Illinois, their second of the half. This will be a 30 second timeout. With that chance to win the division and a win tonight plus a win next week against Ball State, Red Hawks will be bowl eligible. What an accomplishment that would be for Chuck Martin in a season where injuries have played a major factor. A tough schedule it has certainly been an issue. You know, he's already punched his ticket to the MAC championship game. Miami basically would have to win out and need, needs Buffalo to get upset by Bowling Green next week to have a shot at the division title. You uh, never know. I, you know, Roy, but I, but to, to be able to come back and to get to a bowl after the season they have had yeah. injury-wise. Incredible. I mean, it, it, yeah, when you think about losing seven defensive starters, again, the quick jump set to a heavy package for Miami. And they'll throw it. Raglan forced to throw that one early. Nate Becker hit quickly. And the pass was caught. Lance DeVoe with the stop. Charge timeout, Northern Illinois, their final of the half. This will be a 30-second timeout. And IU utilizing that final timeout. You know, Chuck Martin said something that, that really stood out to me, too. He said, no one thinks we're worth a crap. That's what he said. <laughs> and, and it kind of raised your eyebrows and mine as yeah. well with the injuries and the oddness of this year. And to have a chance to win on the road here for the first time since 1998, to still be mathematically alive to win the division or to go to a bowl game, uh, don't underestimate the job he's done coaching this Miami team. Oh, no, he's done a great job. And, and uh, looking at their team, on the field prior to the game. They they have a bunch of good looking athletes. They've recruited well. And, and you, you know, it's something to say when you have to have players play out of position and then you have to go way down in your depth chart and start playing some freshmen. And, and you know, that's a credit to your program and your coaches. You're doing a great job coaching. A touchback on the punt, 228 remaining. And now NIU will have a chance to drive 80 yards for the win. And Roy, you know, having a low scoring game like this, again, I appreciate it because it's more like a, a an MLB game with some low scoring, right? More of a pitcher's duel type thing. And both teams, I mean, they've traded a lot of punts, but it, it's been a field position game, a game of points off turnovers and some timely running and throwing. And right now, Marcus Childers has to get the ball driven down the field and get a couple big chunks of yards here. Not the pass he wanted, looking for tears. Well, the big play in this one, if you're just tuning in, Jadon Rucker furlough, the pick six. That is the difference. That coming in the early stages of the third quarter, the first interception of the freshman's career. And Northern Illinois. He's been faced with this six-point deficit since then. Quick strike, D.J. Brown shoved out of bounds. He'll gain five, will bring up third down. Boy, Alan Koikoi, he's had about four plays just in the fourth quarter alone. Three of them where he's driving players from Northern Illinois out of bounds, but the other one was a corner blitz where he flushed Marcus Childers. Four down territory, obviously, and IU out of timeouts. Childers incomplete. Brown wanted a flag. He will not get it. Mike Brown in coverage. I thought it was good coverage. My, Miami's just been around the football all night long. They've made plays when they had to. They had the young Rucker furlough, as you mentioned a moment ago. 
make the pick six, his first career interception, and that right now stands out as the play of the game. And this play could decide the outcome. Huskies need six. Childers out of the gun. Heaves it deep. Nobody home. No flag on the field, and Miami forces the four and out and will take over deep in Northern Illinois territory. Yeah, it just becomes a low percentage throw, Roy, when you're trying to get something happening 30 yards down the field, especially on a cold night where Miami has been in the back pocket of the NIU receivers. They bring additional pressure that time. They rush five, and that's just good. Push the pocket that time. Cameron Butler, number 82, coming from inside. And that covers downfield by Brown. You think about all the close losses this year by this Red Hawks program. One point loss against Western Michigan at home. One point loss against Army on the road. Well, the Army game was double OT. That's right. And tonight, finding a way on senior night, the day after Northern Illinois clinched the Mac West title. Miami mathematically alive in the Mac East division, still alive to become bowl eligible. And for Chuck Martin, what a job he did getting this team, this crew ready tonight. Yeah, you, you know, you, you got to give credit where credit is due. Taking a look at the Mac East standings in Miami with an Ohio win tonight. Throttling Buffalo. Miami will likely go to five and two here in minute 20. And, you know, it's not a terrible loss for NIU, Roy, when you look at it. They've clinched the Mac West. They're going to be playing likely Buffalo, likely, or Miami again. Now, the big and play we mentioned a moment ago, Rucker furlough, the pick six, a freshman returning at 25 yards out of Dayton, Ohio, and the biggest play of his young career. Yep, playing the game right there. And now, if you're going to make a pick on a big night, determines who gets the Mallory Cup. And we should mention the late Bill Mallory one more time, a Hall of Fame coach, both here at NIU and with Miami and in the MAC. The time is now to vote him into the College Football Hall of Fame. What a win for the Red Hawks on the road for the first time since 1998. They storm into DeKalb and find a way to steal a win. And for Chuck Barton, a big victory. The Bull hopes remain alive for the Miami Red Hawks. Yeah, quite a, quite good playing, quite good coaching. Red Hawks, boy, take a look at that. First win since 98. And they're one win away from bowl eligibility. That well, wasn't pretty, but the defense was solid tonight for Miami, Ohio. And a lot of pride hoisting the Mallory Cup, honoring the late Bill Mallory, who passed away this past May at the age of 82. And you know what Chuck Martin told us this week, just how much Bill Mallory meant to the Miami football program, as did Rod Carey, played for Bill at IU. 13 to seven, the final score tonight. And Miami now five and two in Mac play. Volleyball coming up next for our producer, Greg Pike, our director, Jimmy Lee Starling. Tom Ramsey here in the booth. I'm saying, I'm Roy Philpott saying so long. From Chile to Calb, Illinois. Final score, 13 to seven.